We're on episode 61, which I've calculated out as, since we do it every week, it's about six months, right? That's right. Ron, <laughs> you are a very man. man. 60 weeks of this with lots of delays due to Sam, because of Sam and some, some gr and Griffin now has a life. Due to me. So, Thursday. Only in winter do I have a life. <laughs> when the snow is here. Okay, which we have a lot now. Now you can just come to Burbank and you got snow. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to go anywhere anymore. Mm -hmm. All right, I got new music. I little, I oddly, I made new music for this tomb. Uh, because I just. Wow. You know, I use some of your Ice Window music in the game I run. Cool. Is it awesome or what? Yeah, I played. Oh, yeah, do yeah, that. I played it for. They started fighting Oral last session, and they got into her first form. And I, I played uh, hey, don't tell me anything what I call I your know. combat music. And I, I, just played his, I just played his combat music and the player and one of the players sent a, a meme that said when the bad guy is scary but the song kind of slaps. <laughs> so they all liked it. Oh, bam, 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 bam. The, the winter one that I lengthened to be a, a the ambiance or, as opposed to just the song. That one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> Yep. Okay. This is just my mellow tune ambiance. It's very creepy. I like it. It yeah. reminds me of the Jungle Book almost. Like creepier. <laughs> All right. So let's recap since it's been what three weeks now, right? Two, two, three weeks. Um, you guys, I, I believe, done. I think there's something here called Liam and Tiny Hut. Oh yeah. You've just defeated the Beholder, uh, much to my chagrin. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, and I just read the Lehman's Tiny Hut to see how much how, how I could destroy it. But anyway, you, you can only put nine in there, so I'm assuming the zombies are not in there. The rest of you are. That's right. The zombies are not in there. <sighs> Which is... But I've looked around. It's not a big David, deal. So. David, take your divot head elsewhere. <laughs> so the zombies are sitting out there. Can't see through your opaque dome. and They're just looking sad and morose, you know. Rotting a little bit more. Little, eight little hours little more of rot. Little. I'm just like, and look out at the zombies. <laughs> well, yeah, but you're, you're, you can look, your your thing transparent, so you can see oh, them. Um, but so you guys get eight hours, so that means you get all your everything back, get all your oh. freaking, all your magic and key and what's the shooting one? Grit. I should have used more stuff. <laughs> no, I didn't use any of my high level spells because I was like, um, but. I was okay. We can do it again. You guys cheated and used. I tried to look desperately to see that you could not use Lehman's tiny hut, but you can use it. So. Well, and it? even though I shouldn't tell the, you this, is it dawn? Is it what? Dawn. Oh, well, you don't know what time it is, but it's eight hours. Well, later. I just I have stuff that recharges at dawn. Oh, after a long rest. Not after a long rest. But at dawn. Correct. Only at dawn. Hmm. Well, yeah, that's fine. I don't, Dawn comes at some point, so in that eight hours. Okay. Okay. I would think. Oh, eight hours. Well, you guys have been here quite a while, so. I recover all the Wand of Wonder charges. <laughs> yeah, that's all that Dawn stuff, huh? Well, <laughs> but I, I wanted to roll myself, not have it roll automatically. Dumb Wand of Wonder rolling. Yes, um, um, your alarm definitely ends. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, actually, let me look at that spell. Maybe that's too much information. What spell? Alarm. See, I got four, not a two. Harm? What? Huh? Huh? Harm? Uh, 
Oh, recovers 26 plus one. Ah, oh. expended. So now I have full charge. I'm full charge, baby. Okay, so you don't know when the uh, the alarm goes on or off. You know, so you don't really know. So, um, what do you mean? It it just says right eight hour duration, but doesn't say you know at the end it tells you or something. Oh no! Uh, every 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 time a creature that I have not allowed into the alarm space enters, right. I right. get alarm. Right. Yes. Got yeah, I got that. But you don't know. Like, so, it doesn't say I'm ending. You know, it doesn't say that or anything. Ron, oh right. Ron said on and off, but he meant end end yeah. ending. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so anyway, well, that's assumed. Um, the yeah, you can definitely tell like the fungus starts to fade, that purple stuff. No, there's definitely no stalks poking out of it now. Um, oh, they're okay. Yak, 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 yak. You know, he's um, he, he's talking the whole time. Um, yeah, no, I don't, actually, you know what? That's a situation. That that is a real situation. He's talking and yapping, and he's not letting you guys rest. What do you do? So let's, I'm going to start from the beginning of Lehman's talking. He's like, hey guys, remember the, and, 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 and I remember the time, and, and he's like just going on and on and on, and he's starting to make really dumb jokes, and I'm not going to torture myself. We don't, torture we don't myself. let him, we don't let him into the hut. Ooh. Oh, you, you throw him out? This is Nang Nang? Who's this, who is it? The, the, the Golden Skull. Oh yeah, screw that guy. I don't want to let him so into you, my hut. So you throw him out of the, the, the Lehman's hut? Okay. Who's you guy? see him, um, you know, getting kind of angry. You know, you can just see him outside, uh, trying to hit the the hut or whatever. What What are you doing, Griffin? <laughs> well, my friend's dancing to some music, oh. so I was like dancing along. Can you tell him to leave? <laughs> no, okay. It's his uh, house, man. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's how I roll, man. That's how I roll. All right, so um, so he's he's like banging on the dome or whatever, but. It's, I just heard an alarm, a voice, like a digital voice. You did? I didn't hear that. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Don't say that, she'll hear you. Here's my phone. Hey, Alexa, do some cool stuff. I don't even Alexa, have... Alexa, turn off all computers. I don't have my Alexis on, so I don't know why oh, I made Alexa, that voice. Open, roll play. Anyway, anyway. Um, um, what you see it do wait. then is... So, there's a lot of treasure in these nooks and crannies. I don't know if you guys, um, you see it go over there and it starts to eat some gems. Don't eat those gems, my buddy. You come out of the, the hut? Now, wait one cotton picking moment here. It's eating gems? Why would it do that? Just crunching them and. Just crunching and. Oh, I hear my voice through somebody. somebody. Someone got their speaker Someone on? Their speaker. Yeah, I'm hearing my voice yeah. feedback. Okay, everybody turn off the mute one, one by one. I'll do my first. Test, 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 test. Yeah, I think it's UCM. Yeah, that was easy. <laughs> well, test, test, test. Test, test, test. Well, I don't hear it now. Also, also, the only one not wearing headphones. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have headphones, Sam? I thought you were like all into sound and audio and stuff. <laughs> Don't you have like Bose headphones, like awesome recording mic and all that stuff? <laughs> I will put my stupid thing in. <laughs> Beep boop. Hey, I have one of those, but cheap. Okay. Bop, beep, bop, bop, bop. Yeah. All right. So, so it's eating, I don't care if I eat some gems. Is it eating gems? Yep. Yeah, does it even get like more powerful if if it eats all the gems? I kind of want to see what happens. Who 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 okay, is controlling so you this see what thing happens. again? Whose pet is this? You you guys uh, found I it. I think I think it's stuck on to Steven, so onto me, but yeah. uh it uh Steven? Steven bad. Your your skull is eating those gems over there. No. Yeah, he's hungry. I'm going to lie down and go to sleep. I'm... All right. You see it just chewing more gems, like maybe because there's a bunch of them in there. Like it's getting 5,000 gold pieces worth of gems and there's more to 
he had. I, and it's disintegrating. Yeah, I don't know. We don't need them. Okay. Don't they? Don't gems like disappear when you leave tombs like this? Sometimes, like if you if you go through haunted things. All right, I get the message. You go through, you get treasure, and they leave. I get the message. Um, the finally after eating a certain amount, you guys are watching it or, or relaxing, and you know, eating your can of sardines or whatever it is you guys do in fantasy land. Um, it suddenly like shines, glows, and kind of, and a light comes out of it, and then disappears. Oh um, my gosh! It's gone. What? I go, Steven, where'd your skull go? I don't know. That was cool, though. Oh. <laughs> Did it go into another dimension? What's a dimension? Well, let me tell you. It's a, <laughs> it's a rift in between the planes that, like, if you are here, maybe in, if you took a step to another dimension, maybe you have a, you are you, but you're made of ice. Oh, so I think here. And then all your family's ice people. It's like the multiverse. Hmm. Maybe one of you is made out of hand-drawn anime. Um, I, it was connected to me, but like, did I feel anything like leave or like, I don't know how connected how well connected to it I was. Like, was I getting... Yeah, really Arcana. Have you sensed oh, like the magic from it? Or was I getting, like, no? energy <clears throat> sucked? Or, I don't know. No, you were definitely feeling the connection, but no. We, 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 were, we were buddies. We we're buddies. Okay? You and me. I liked to him. To the end. I liked him. I liked Yucca. I got an 18. Yeah, Arcana. you feel you've been released from... It's a minor curse or whatever. I mean, you know, whether you care mm -hmm. or not. It, you're released from it, and... um it's um, um, you feel like it's probably back to where it started. Oh, so it's just back there. Oh, okay, interesting. Hmm. Oh, cool. Good. Hey, can I have? Uh... Hey, Ron, okay, so can now I get a piece? Ron, can I retcon something because I read my <sighs> spell list again? And sure. as a wizard, I I would have known. Sure. I mean, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, so just before we, um, because we were, we were going to go to sleep, but I... I In that case, I got to write con some stuff, too. Hold on. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> um, okay. This is just sort of fun. I think it'll make everything more fun. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe it'll annoy the hell out of Ron. Um, but uh, before we went to sleep, I, uh, I, I would, I'd like to turn to Steven and be like... No, no, I want to turn to Cornelius. <laughs> and I'll go... Hey Cornelius, how do you do? You, what, well, say yes, hello. Yes, my boy. Say hello. Say hello to your brother named what? named Corn Cob. <laughs> and I use my spell Major Image and cast, I cast it at sixth level. <laughs> Oops! I, and I cast it at sixth level to create an image that looks exactly like Cornelius, except instead of a, <laughs> uh, uh, he's got this like corn cob uh, pipe? Uh, pipe coming out of his mouth, and instead of a gun, he's got a, like a <laughs> like, like a corn like a, shooter? Like a corn shooter, yeah, exactly. And a corn I go, shooter? Yeah, like it, like it looks like it's got husks coming out of it, and it looks like this corn thing, and it goes chuck chuck and like it shucks the corn. <laughs> and so horrible. Shotguns haven't been invented yeah. yet, so it's uh, more of a you know corn crossbow you know or something. Worse than this development, Lily's asking for a sip of my water and then spit all the mushrooms from her dinner into my water. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, oh, um, <laughs> a, a corn atlat, you know those atlat things, a corn. <laughs> whatever those, those pronounce yeah. those atlats or like a corn boomerang. So <laughs> anyway, go ahead. So I cast this spell and then I'm like, <laughs> hey. Um, corn cobulius. Um, he is now your brother. <laughs> and this identity fella, uh, theft is no laughing matter, my boy. <laughs> yes, well, you tell me what you like, Mr. Corn Cob, to do, and I will let make it do it. 
So um, I gotta read this with major images. Is this a read, read, just read the level? very very last line of the major image spell oh. at higher level at higher level? Oh yeah, uh, a creature uses action to examine the image can determine it's an illusion with a successful. Uh, I feel like I'd know it's an illusion when I see it as a corn gun. <laughs> yeah, no, I I'm like, oh, don't worry, it's just an illusion. Look, and I pass my hand. Oh, okay. Like that. But I'm like, but guess what? It will never go away. Oh wow! So why, Scott, you have become quite an adept wizard. Yes. It wasn't that long ago on this journey that you were merely casting. Uh, magical tricks, and now you've created a handsome, handsome man. Yes, and look, I don't even have to concentrate on him. Of course, you I made him stretching it. You made I it shudder this to big, think though. what you're doing with Corn Copulus when well, no one's looking <laughs> in your tent at night. Yes, well, I had to have someone who would not, who would laugh at my jokes, Cordelius. <laughs> <laughs> He's quite handsome. We've now raised the handsome level of the party. <laughs> I, I'm gonna start making. I start making corn cob. Belius do exactly what Cornelius does, like mirrors motions. It's great. Yeah, Cornelius actually loves this. Guys, I'm gonna be right back. I clean this water. Up. Okay. <laughs> all right. What else? What else? That's exciting. All. Well, th that's one too many Corneliuses for Runaira. <laughs> all right. I say we go on. All right. <laughs> I don't want to have to look at both of them at once. <laughs> a monk of action. Yeah. A monk who knows she can run away. <laughs> Let's go! Come on, Corn Cobulus. <laughs> don't, don't. D put him in the back. <laughs> I say, hey, Corn Cobulus, if, if I could, do you mind if I call you dad? I... Runaira just shakes her head and, and then ignores <laughs> that very firmly. <laughs> <laughs> you probably didn't hear that one. <laughs> Robbie, didn't, Robbie didn't hear that. That was great. Oh, so you wanted to c come travel with you? Yeah, so, I mean, that, that was, the, that, I mean, it's just for fun, but like, yeah. It, Let me, <laughs> the um, idea. I just read my spell list. I'm like, oh my god, sixth level major image. You don't. Have, it'll just stick around until I decide it has to go away, or until someone casts a spell magic on it. Right. Well, I, I don't mind. Yeah, that's corn. Renaira has never Cobulus? wished to be a wizard more. Corn Cobulus, yeah. <laughs> corn Cobulus. My boy's wish for a brother as handsome as me. <laughs> that's not very handsome. <laughs> Perhaps the two of us together can add up to one handsome man. Yes. And one fourth of a brain cell. <laughs> okay, where? I'm gonna. I'm gonna have Cornucopius just look at Cornelius and be like, "Boy, you're so handsome." Look at you! Right back don't at lie you! To don't don't oh, lie to right each back other. at you! I was buddy. just thinking the same thing, old boy. Uh, hello, old chap. And he takes a <laughs> takes a puff on his corn cob pipe. I like your gun. I like the way you carry your gun. Because <laughs> I can make it to say to say things. <laughs> If, and you can even make had... it uh, smell. You can make it smell like things too. Yeah, it smells yeah. like corn right now. Like fresh. Uh, we had fans. This would become like... a fan service episode so quickly. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I know. This is this, this is the part of the episode if we were doing that where I would um, drop my merch and be like, if you're looking to get Cornelius T-shirts. Yeah. <laughs> no one would want the Cornelius. They'd want the uh, corn cob. Neelius, sure. And now a Corny the Cobb t-shirt, yeah. <laughs> and then there's yeah. like a whole drama thing because I, I start releasing Cornelius guns, kids start buying them. And then you release a Corn Cobb chucker. <laughs> <laughs> I can play just a complete sallow play. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Trying to get this thing to look a little different. Um, it starts, it, it, Corn Cobbulus goes, Hey, uh, brother! Look at this. I, I can make this I, thing I shoot you. too, I and it shoots and it shoots the corn cob like magically, like t which one ten is, feet which one past is the it, and then it just disappears when it hits the edge of the spell. Uh, this one. I was one. expecting to turn to like this a one right here, the one you just moved. Yeah. yeah. Wait, oh, yeah, I gave no, control. I gave I gave Sam control. I didn't. I don't know if I can give you. 
Uh, Abigail, let me give you uh, owner two. Oh, can, you quickly, huh? can you quickly draw draw a corn cob instead of a gun, Ron? Please. No. Just kidding. <laughs> no, but we can make him yellow. Yeah, I was trying to make him yellow. How do you do that? Tint yeah. color. I did that. It didn't do anything. I mean, it's, it's yellow there. And then I am making him twenty five percent transparent. Oh, because he's a he's in a major image. Yeah. See, yellow and transparent. Wow. Yeah, but that's wow. not very. No. It's not very I yellow. I, I know. I wish I could push the yellow stronger. Well, when you add yellow to red, it doesn't do much. Yeah. Yeah. I, guess. I mean, we can go with a different color. Or just maybe, maybe make him glow a little yellow. I can yeah. see his face is more is more ruddy, like corn. Yeah, colored. let's uh, light. We make. Uh, we'll do dim light, ten feet. No, oh, no, that's too much. Uh, we'll go two feet. We'll try that. Good lord, how big are the squares here? One feet. Color intensity, 15. Light animation type. Corn cobulas. Yeah, well, the, the, the zombie over there is one foot for bright, so... Whatever. whatever. Okay. Let's get the show on the road. Uh, we'll, Let's do it. Do we get... Is Griffin glowing? <laughs> Griffin got a fire going and everything? Why is he blue? Uh, does it look blue to you? Because on mine it just looks black. Yeah, just the hair looks a little bluish. Oh, the hair does look a little Because it's out That's of the cool. line, I think. That's cool. Should you be red? Uh, Well, I made it red and then my character was already so red I didn't notice the difference. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all right. We're getting uh, weird here. We're getting off track here. Let's go. Oh, there Let's you do go. this. <laughs> oh, that's real red. Stephen Strong kind of looks like Guy Fieri. I can't just do <laughs> did before. He had that yellow spiky hair. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and the flames. I can't move corn cobulas, Ron, just so you know. You should be able to. Let me. I gave you ownership. Um, I oh, can move him. Let me see. You can't move him. I just did. Oh, I'm moving him right now. How do you what? untint color? Are you <laughs> Sam in this? No. Wait. I think you just go all the way to black, maybe. Either all the way to black so you or just, all the way to white. You just delete the hex and then you You're the it. owner of the dude, so. <laughs> There's another one now. There's yeah, so many. The... Sam, try to move him. Uh, the I cannot thing. move him. Are you... That's funny. Really? Sam, are you still uh, okay. not selected? Or... Hmm. Yeah, I, I can't move him. Either. All it does is it, it, does like a, it draws a box if I try to move him. I can move him. Wait, Rob should not be able to move him. I, get, oh, I got him assigned to Sam. Up. Are you guys the wrong? Uh... No, because I can move the original Cornelia, so it doesn't make sense. And I can and move I, myself. I can move Dragon uh, Bait. I'm just giving you all ownership then. So now move him. I can't move David oh. Divot Head though. That's Hello, it. Corny the Corn Cobulus. Nope. Oh, you. oh, there you go, Runaira or Abigail. That's cool. He's like he's got like a popcorn looking <laughs> halo. Which is weird. <laughs> But I don't know why you can't move him. That's kind of uh, why I gave you ownership. I don't Did know. Did you what just duplicate the player, or oh, okay, I see corn copulus. I gave everybody ownership of him, so uh, pull corn. Wait, let me try it again. Here, do flat the out corn copulus out. Yeah, do this guy. See him? Okay, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try this guy. Oh, I can move that guy. Okay. All right, let me let me right. make the tokens match while you guys keep talking. Well. We'll just keep moving. Let's move, people. Let's go, people. I'll move don't on. move, oh, don't move this guy first. Don't move corn cobulus for a second, because it'll okay, it'll okay. reset what I'm doing. Really? Okay, come on, corn cobulus. Stay there for a second while you get your halo applied. Good job. I should. Good boy. Right, you Good guys boy, keep going. I'll be I'll be there in a sec. Let me link them. Oh, they are linked, so it should have worked. All right. Oh, hello. Ice, I see. What do you, oh, so so this is the room we have the the golem. Oops. The golem and all that. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Um All right, which way do you go? This is the platforms, obviously. You can see that. Oh yeah, I forgot his name is Tolkien. Hmm? 
Uh, can you pull out Cornucopulus again? Who said that? Me? Yeah, I don't know. That must have been like, oh, Griffin's on mute. He's talking to his friend oh, okay. J.R.R. I heard that voice. I was like, who was that? Ron. Oh, what? Yeah, what? Can you pull out Cornucopulus again? Cornucopulus. Uh, the, the token? Yeah, pull it oh, out another from one? the player thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, there. There you go. And delete the other two. There you go. Oh, look at that, babies. Here, I'm going to move him. Come Slightly on, Cornucopulus. Ghostly, very, very yellow and popcorny. Oh, did like we it. just do a long rest? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't see. I don't see. Hey, Cornucopulus. Good boy. Oh, come, come on. Come on. Let's just see what you see. Good boy. Nothing seems to be working. Okay, whatever. All right. What do you all do? Concobulus walks to the edge of this thing and just goes, Goodbye, cruel world. And he falls in and, and, and then lands on his head. And I say, Concobulus, come back. And then he comes back. I'm going to stop doing stuff like that. <laughs> okay, go on. <laughs> all right. What are you... Okay, so the I'm just the DM here, so down. Uh, did, what about this uh, pathway with this with the pedestals and the? We've we been down there that? before. We That's got the floating disc, the, the wind. Yeah. Okay, we've done everything on this floor. Oh, shall we yeah. just say? And we we did found you? a key on every floor so far. I, I said I think, and we found a key on every floor, and there are five floors, so there might be a key on the next. What, what level are we at? on the next two floors? You're level three. This is the the washer room with the, the zombie that yeah, yeah. Uh, you use the stick on the movable rod. We got we have, we have Samwise, Frodor, and Meridor. <laughs> yeah, so I, think we're, go. I think we're missing two if there are five levels and then potentially one key for each level. Yeah, so we got to go back up the circle staircase to second floor. I'm going to take the main staircase down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This Although, is a convoluted wait, tomb. Wait, we did we never opened the door at the bottom of the of this stairwell, right? Uh yeah, I heard water against it, so I'm a little I'm afraid if we open it. Like how high up is the water on the door, you know? Well it sounded like you were lapping on a shore type thing. Oh. Well let's go check it out. I mean, we're done with this yeah. floor and it's time to move on to the next floor anyway. Yeah. Well this is the this is gonna be all the floors down uh, to the very lowest that we know of. So, if I remember correctly, the the fourth floor is the bottom one in this main floor, and then there's a hole in the middle that leads down into a fifth floor. Is that right, Ron? Say that again. Right, Sorry. Four, four staircases, and then there's a hole on the fourth floor that leads to a fifth. Uh, area. you're talking about when you drop down to the wagon or whatever, the, or the. So it, in the in the central area where there's the staircases that go down, there's only four floors that we can All see. Oh, in the hole, right? But there's a hole that goes down to a fifth. Fifth, correct? Is that right? Yes. Yeah. And you have three keys, skeletal keys. Mm-hmm. Just so you know. Yeah. So we still need to do the fourth floor. But I figured while we're here, let's check it out. Yeah, let's check it out. All right. I'm game. Where is where is Perikey? Okay. Peregrine so. key. Peregrine Tookie. Yes, we we need uh we need Pip. Peregrine need Tookie. Tookie. <laughs> His name is Peregrine Tookie. Hey, works better. All right. Sorry. What do y'all do? We're gonna do what we just said. Going downstairs. Downstairs? Well, right, Griffin. I'm gonna Griffin, you're muted. Yeah, we yeah, we wanna go down. Alright, let me And just see if there's any other doors. Okay, so yeah, let me go ahead and bring you into this level. And you see it it continues down. Uh, but there's also a passageway leading off 
on this fourth level. Yeah, that's what I was I was thinking there was the stairs went down further than the level we knew about. Yeah, I don't know why. This... So maybe this goes directly to the last level, like the fifth level. I would you remember if we've been over to the left there? No, we have not. Let's do it. Let's go over and check it out. We got to get to the fourth floor anyway. No. Yeah. yeah. Can I listen before we open that door? Like, see if I hear anything going on. I don't think there's a door. I thought he said there was a door to the fourth floor here. Oh. This goes to a dead end. There's a little hallway, but there's it's a dead end. Oh. Runaira, come check right. this Can out. I, have a <laughs> I need to turn off. How do we do the reset the fog thing? That's in. What do you mean reset lighting? it or get rid of it? Do you want reset or get rid? Get rid of it. Get rid of. Uh, so Crash? go. Uh, right, right click on the map up there in your GM toggle thing and configure. Wait, where? Where? Conf config you have to configure the map to get rid of it completely. Oh, configure. So uh -huh. you'll yeah. go into the settings for the map. Uh huh. Uh, and there should be something for vision and sight, something along those lines. Token vision, fog exploration. Yeah, click that off. Yeah, that's already off. But you guys see some fog of war, right? No, no, we no, don't. we can't see anything. No. All we see is a stairwell. We just, yeah, we just see no, this stairwell my, in this hallway. Showing on my map that the streamer sees. No, it. that's because oh. you can. Oh, the streamer sees it. Yeah, which it shouldn't. I can uh, see the streamer, but I can't see anything else. There's some fog. The streamer might. Ha does the streamer have more permissions than we? Yeah, maybe, but it's not supposed to. Darn it! Just trying to. How can you see the streamer, Griffin? Do this right. I'm like if you zoom out, you can see there's a little token that's got a blue aura, yeah. and it says "streamer" oh, yeah. underneath it. Hello, streamer. <laughs> Something is making it see things. See, oh, whatever. Uh, just, to whatever. to to reset the fog of war on this map in particular. Yeah, hit the reset. Uh, okay, okay, that yeah, worked. Yeah. Okay, that worked. I don't know why it was even there. Okay, sorry. So yes, there's a wall here. There's definitely a. Uh, I think there is a door there, I guess. Let me um, clarify this little section. Oh, boy, we're really chugging, chugging along here. There's a secret door oh. there. I'm gonna just gonna have to say that because uh, it's pretty it obvious. Does mage hand. Okay. Hey, <clears throat> Cornelius. Um, Corn Cobulus wants to go check out the door. That is a wise idea. Can I send, can I send my mage hand ahead to open the door and have Corn Corncobulus go walk through it? Be safe, handsome man. Oh, don't worry about me. I've been in, I've been in spots of danger worse than this, good brother. All right. There you go. It opens. Corncobulus walks in. <laughs> Corncobulus walks in. Okay. Well, you don't see what he sees, so. No, I don't see what he sees, but he goes, Hello, everybody. I'm here to find the vision off. biggest creature that you have. Putting his vision off? I like this guy. He that sounds work? brave. Yeah, I want works. to shoot it with my gun rifle. <laughs> he sounds brave. I like him. He's courageous yeah. and handsome. All right, so, Runara, do you go in? <laughs> uh, I'd like to like just poke my beacon a little bit first and peek around. You know, obviously you see um let me I'll, I'll do the reading here this vaulted chamber features a 10 foot deep sunken floors surrounded by ledges without railings alcoves along the ledges hold painted wooden statues of hornet headed humanoid warriors each wearing a grass skirt and a clutching a spear a gruesome throne lashed together of bone and strips of skin stands atop the west ledge. A fearsome horned skull surmounts the throne, and small skulls are piled around it. The seat of the throne appears to be made of stretched skin and has a metal scepter resting on it. Shuffling about the sunken portion of the room are three gaunt, humanoid figures in dusty robes, draped in cobwebs, their eyes and mouths stitched shut. Armed with brushes and clay pots of pigment, they paint the walls and pillars with grim, 
poorly rendered illustrations. So I guess shuffling about down below. Um, Did you get all that for an hour? Yeah. Can I poke my head in just behind, just behind her and I are just like, it's a peek yep. in like under her skirts. Uh -huh. That's weird. <laughs> like, like around. Like, hey, what's it? What's going on? You're out, Sam. Game kicking you out right now. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. Renara moves away from the stage. Canceled. For a moment. Okay. I'm sorry. What'd you say, Renara? She, she's moving back away from the stench of Scar, who somehow still doesn't know how to press to digitate the scent of himself away. <laughs> well, yeah, if, yeah. if this were a fan I mean, game, he'd be canceled. There'd be a petition. Okay. Oh, it, the petition would just need like three signatures from <laughs> random accounts on Twitter. <laughs> That's our whole viewership. Um, Corncobulus. What do you guys see over there? I'm just going to say... I'm just gonna have Corncobulus. Just this is the last thing I'll do with Corncobulus, then we can go. I'm gonna have Corncobulus go. Oh yes, thank you. You citizens sweeping the floor for me, and you've prepared my throne. Good. And he <laughs> Corncobulus runs over and sits in the throne. <laughs> Finally, Cornelius, someone on your level. <laughs> okay, you know, they, no one. Boss appear then. They they are doing their. Sweep for me. I like the image of you on that throne, good sir. He sort of poses with his corn cob. He's like, <laughs> how do I look? How do I look? You are a vision of things to come, I believe. <laughs> hell. <laughs> I knew hell was coming. <laughs> <laughs> I go, I, I, Scar looks over at and goes, man, this guy's annoying, isn't he? I, I yell to Renara say, Two Corneliuses, you must be in heaven. Mount yeah. Celestia awaits. Stephen is somehow the only one here with any sense. <laughs> oh, who's got what? Um, let's let's remind ourselves, and I, sh I should probably type this out. Who has what gods in them? He did. I don't I think, think I, I have this on my list here. Hold on a sec. Let me open this. Just to, I want to try to keep some notes here, finally. Um, Okay. Who's got what now? Renara, you have what? Ejin? Ejin. The bunny. Yeah. Um, who do you have, Super Griffin? Fast. Griffin? You have some, I think I someone gives you strength. Giant that. strength, right? Papa Zotol or... Oh, well, yeah. Papa, Papa yeah, Zotol's my strength and, is uh, Papa Zotol's 23. The other one. Um, David. That's impressive. I don't ha seem to have it written down anywhere, though. Here, I'll have it somewhere. I put it in my name last time, Scar. Oh, but I who got has it. who else has one? Scar. Nang Nang, Stephen, you have Nang Nang. It's written on your character yeah. sheet. It's written on your character sheet. I have Obalaka. Wait, Nang Nang gives him twenty three strength. No, no, no. That no, one, I, I, that one left him. Yeah, I had uh, Nang Nang, but I got rid of Nang Nang. Nang Nang's in some. Item didn't now. you? Didn't the it's in David Dibbet head, right? Yeah. Oh, is it? No, David has. Yeah. Opa, uh, I think you have Kubas oh. on. Are you have Kubas on? Oh, David Dibbet head. That's right. Girl. Hey, Griffin, think you have Kubas on? Maybe. Is it Kubas on? Here, I'll, I gotta figure out which one is. The, uh, and we we gotta write it in all of our character sheets. Who has what? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Got a chart here somewhere. Uh, Kubas on. Yeah. Kuba's on. I am fearless and not afraid to take great risks. Oh, so yeah. Get, that sounds, that sounds let's like go Steven, all right. Let's go, buddy. Let's do this. You should. Why are you in the back, fool? Get up there. Um, I'm in the heart of it, Kuba's on. You calm down. Ejin is, I never stick to a plan. Okay. Never stick to plan. Venaira, let's go get some treasure. Is he is he greedy or anything? Ejin is fickle and underpredictable. Okay. Um, Kubazan is wild and spirit, you know, fearless. Um, and then Scar, what do you have? I, I mean, my clear name. It says Obalaka. 
Oh, the, the two into one magic item? And then I change it to something the like a better save. Plus on your two your low plus two, two to your, your lowest, lowest wisdom or save. Yeah, yeah that's what it lowest is. Plus, save. It's, it's, no advantage of my lowest save is what it is. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah, you changed it. That's fine. Yeah. Um so you have Obalaka. Uh risk adverse. Slave to routine. I'm risk adverse? Is that what that that's what I yeah. am? Definitely use that use corn copulus. Corn copulus. Yes, use them all the time. Oh, uh, good idea. Gobalaka. Risk adverse. Okay. Okay. I am um, good. Cool. I guess I'll delete what I'm not using anymore, or I'll just strike through. Oh, still just... like a like a constitution. I still have the info there. Okay. Uh. All right, man. What? Okay, so what do y'all do? You're in this room, a creepy drawing, cr incredible throne there. I wish they would have sort of illustrated that better, but uh, skulls everywhere, big horns behind cornucopulus. Um, Is this alcove empty where I'm? Was it? Well, it's a big double doors there. Oh, there's doors. Okay. Or whatever, it's just double sure. doors, not necessarily. Oh, wow, double huge, doors, huh? Somewhat big. Hey, uh, Corn Cobulus goes, Go through the doors, brother! I got you covered! <laughs> Corn Cob got it, you. <laughs> Someone's going crazy. Me? Might be every, but all of us. Well, I've done my action. You guys do your things. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're just. Uh, I was wondering if I could check out the stars, which I forget. Uh, I don't know if you described them or not yet. The what? Oh, the, the stars the statues, mean there's like right? a, a oh, statue. Those are the statues. Kind. Yeah, the uh, yeah. um, the hornet faced wooden statues. Here, let me go back to. Them. I was trying to read another room. Sorry. Never-ending story. Uh, alcoves along the ledges hold painted wooden statues of hornet-headed humanoid, humanoid warriors, each wearing a grass skirt and clutching a spear. Oh, um, I gotta fess this up. Uh, I'm gonna say, Renaro, you spot it from where you're at. There is definitely a secret door, a slightly ajar, over. Here, behind the statue. Is it a door or a jar, Ron? Which is, oh, that one? It's a slightly ajar. Oh, no, I'm kidding. Is door that, that is slightly ajar. Your, so, your little pointer thing is an Omarash, right? Yeah. And that's what Ejin is? Ejin is, yeah. Huh? I approve. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see It's good to see me represented. Yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go. Don't tell anybody. Let's go, let's do it. Let's get in there. Um, what are these... These sweeping guys have tell, no, they don't notice tell, uh, us at all. Tell Firehead to just take off. He's got uh, Kubazan in him. Tell him to take off. All right, so what do you do for an hour? Uh, all by yourself, I hope. I mean, Steven is literally right there. Uh, he's passing by. And she's not, she's not especially cautious right now. She, she just kind of listens for a second and then throws open the door. Okay, roll your, you know, your super high, incredible door throwing reception. Open. Twenty-four. Let me read this carefully, real quick. Okay, sorry, mm -hmm. very boring. Um. This is really interesting. Keep this to myself. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like any of my spells.
Oh boy, the last step to... sorry. Alright, let me read this, and then I'm, I got still more to read, but I'll let you guys ponder this as I read it. The walls of this room are adorned with tile mosaics of a jungle city intermingled with frescoes of flowering plants, birds, insects, and humans wearing, go wearing gold skirts and carrying spears and ornate jugs. The ceiling is painted to look like a clear blue sky. The small bejeweled cockroach rests atop a sarcophagus of black basalt in the middle of the room. A two foot diameter orb hanging from a chain above the sarcophagus is made of hammered gold to resemble a smiling sun. So talk about yourselves while I uh, figure out what I'm doing here. Uh, only, only you know that, Renai, all right? Yeah, no, no one else is looking, but I have, I've got to go rescue an, an animal real quick. Be right back. Hmm. I just rescued my dog from endless loneliness. Hey, uh, Steven, what should I mean? Uh, yeah, Steven, what spell should I cast? How about Minor Illusion? The major image is in concentration, huh? No, no, it's if you, it's the craziest thing. If you cast it at 6th level, it just lasts forever without concentration. I love it. It's crazy. Okay, all right. Okay. Man. So. Oh, so she's the only one that knows. All right, so what do you guys do while she's in there? Or disappeared yeah. behind the tomb, or the, you know? The, Maybe uh, the scar was going to go over here, and then... Th those broomy, broomy ghouls are not responding at all to what we're doing, right? Nope. Huh. I guess Steven's going to try to walk down and okay. see if they do anything different. They just, they're just, they're just, I got you covered. You don't like the drawings they're doing. They're just creepy, scary looking, ugly, badly done, you know, almost like cave drawings, but they're all just of pain and torture and suffering, and, you know, sort of hand looks like cave drawing type suffering of people and just constantly doing it, like doodling along, you know, and like I said, their eyes are, are sewn together. Their, their mouths are sewn together. They don't. They're all just. <laughs> They're dead, right? Are they clearly like undead walking around? Well, they don't look very well. Yeah, they're definitely undead of some sort, yeah. Cornelius, roll your perception real quick. Just, uh, oh, I don't know if I'm hooked up. Mm, sorry. Uh, I can roll in the. Um, I can roll in here, right? Also, um, Stephen, roll your perception. Why? Um, or not? Thirteen. Okay, thirteen. Okay, you're. Well, um, that's not good enough for me, but. <clears throat> hey! 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 Twenty minus one. <laughs> Minus wow, one. this game suddenly got exciting. Okay. Um, you get a sense, and this is why I had you roll this. You get a sense that the... It's just something you get a sense of. You're looking around at the ground. Um, this ground. And it, and the way you're walking on it, you sent, it feels like it could be hollow. But it's really thick tile. But it sort of feels like it was placed there to cover something or you know like a um you know what i mean like there's something underneath there the t like uh, the, like here you're walking on solid stone but when you come down and you step down mm -hmm. and you kind of tap your feet you feel like even though it's pretty solid the, the stone like you don't feel like you're gonna fall or anything it feels like it's, it's a 
structural, you know, whatever. I am going to do something stupid. What was that? That was his test roll. I just hooked up my extension. Doing something oh, real just... stupid. I'm going to go into the middle and I'm going to cast Earth Tremor. <laughs> oh my you god. Cause a tr- you cause a tremor in the ground within range. Each creature other than you in that area must make a deck three saving throw on a build save. Creature takes damage. If the ground in that area is loose earth or stone, it becomes difficult terrain until cleared with each five foot diameter portion requiring at least one minute to clear by hand. Okay. That's fine by me. Somebody has... <clears throat> I'm going to try to say this more. Less afraid. Somebody has Featherfall, right? No. You no, the music wizards. just got really loud. <laughs> we no don't reason. Care about no reason. Safety. <clears throat> I'm just, you know, I just felt like changing the music like a DJ. You know, just. Kubazan, take me. Oh, yeah. I like it. I like it. Let's rock. All right, you do this. And uh, these guys all just basically fall. And, you know, they're, 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 they're ink. They, they're, uh, and you, the ground starts to crack. And you can hear underneath you. I'm getting muted for some reason. I can't hear you. <laughs> what? I couldn't hear anything. You, your mouth was open, but no sound was coming out. I uh, heard him. Really? I couldn't hear. <laughs> oh, I anything. do have feather fall, Steven. Oh man. Okay, so they are all—they all fall. The, the the little artists, the artists, you know, drop their oh, inks gosh. and their brushes, and <laughs> they pretty much die or whatever. You, you know, they take damage, right? They fail. The, the like one d six damage. Good enough for me. Perf, 10 feet. Um, but you hear the the ground starts to crack and crumble, and you hear underneath you just a massive. Uh, you fall. You, I mean, the thing collapses. It crumbles around you as you do that. Star, what save you, me! Is there like a way for you to? I could save you, Stephen. But why don't you go fight that creature? And it's just, they, everything crawl, falls and crumbles down. I could save him. I just bl- how far down? How far down is it? How many feet down? Can we tell in an instant? Just blast open. Uh, let's let's roll initiative. I'm gonna give this guy a little little umph, you know, because you yeah, actually that's yeah, good. Let's it, roll initiative. It gets triggered. See, so oh wow, look at that guy. Let's roll initiative and see uh, if um, if Scar has enough so uh, get- wherewithal to to save Steven before. He- <laughs> Before he falls, I just am asking for like a feather fall Wait. in case it's a long. But if it's if it's not a long drop, then I'll be fine. I could I could. You're say falling it. on it's him, basically. Of whether I can or not, it's a question of whether I will. <laughs> oh no, if I'm falling gosh. on top of this dinosaur, then I'm probably be fine. No, you're falling into his mouth. Yeah, I'll be fine. <laughs> I'm gonna All pull right. uh, Star Wars. Dave, no, I'm gonna pull a Dave Batista. Like Star Wars. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Just like, <laughs> I'll take it. Nat twenty. You did not get a nat twenty. Yep. Well, I did with advantage. <laughs> it's cheating. But, you know. He triggers. He gets triggered when um you you harm the uh the little artiste. So he was ready to go. It was uh, Cornelius. You want to awesome. roll initiative? At least I did it in a cool way. I thought it went through. Uh, okay, sorry. Oh, I don't know. I mean, I can change it. Is it? Si- <clears throat> uh, How come I included 15. you? Oh, shoot! You How know come what? Nothing is. I gotta do this way. I I just yell out to what was that? to uh, Concobulus. I'm like disadvantage. What was that? Oh, because I rolled for myself, and I rolled a six. So uh-huh. I figured I'd roll with disadvantage to try to get as low as I could, and I still got higher. Who got the nat 20? Freaking I'm at the bottom roll. of the order. It's fine. Nice, Abby. Well, I still got mine, too, so. Go ahead and go, Renaira. Cheater. Oh, you're not doing something? You're not, you're not. Well, you got a little higher than him. 
Alright, uh, one second, I gotta turn the music down just a bit. Oh yeah, it's all down on my end too. Let's keep it there. That's okay, we, we, can eas we can also each control it for ourselves too. Yeah, that's still a little loud for me. Alrighty, so, uh, I have that much movement. Very good, very good, very good. <clears throat> and how deep is this pit? It's now 20 feet. How tall is the T-Rex? 20 feet? Uh -huh. It was laying down. The small T-Rex. It was huddled in there, yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't need a feather fall. It's gone. I'll be fine. Yeah. I didn't think so. I think you right. I thought you'd be fine, Steven. Well, I thought it might be like just a pit. <laughs> like really deep. But yeah, this it will be is. This will be good. But it is right, not. So, large. uh can I do the climb on top of a bigger creature thing again? Those rules? I'm sorry, what? From the DMG. We Last time there was a T-Rex, I uh, climbed on top of it using the Dungeon Master Guide rules for that. Uh-huh. Is that fine? No. Yeah, uh. please. What are the rules of that? <laughs> so I, I use an action to make a dex an acrobatics or athletics check contested by its acrobatics. If I win, uh, I can move on, to, on top of it. Ooh. And I have advantage on attack rolls against it. And it's an action to do that, or it's moving? Yeah, it's an action. Okay. It's like push or shove or grapple or something. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, go ahead. Makes sense. So I roll uh, a dexterity okay. or an acrobatics? You roll, yeah, you rolled acrobatics, and then I roll either athletics or acrobatics. Darn. That was low for me, but it still worked. <laughs> Whoop. And I'm going to run up its back. Uh, onto its neck here and uh, attempt to pummel this thing. Well, let me increase its armor class to 32. <laughs> Adamantite bones. <laughs> oh, wait! Frightful presence! Um, everyone's got a save versus DC 16 wisdom saving throw. Oh, no. Is there a range on it? Is, is that uh, 120 on feet. his turn or <laughs> just at first? Um. Bits? If you're within 120 feet of it. And you're aware of it. Wisdom save. Wisdom save. Yeah, sixteen wisdom save. Oh. I, I have found <laughs> bravery. Uh, I'm gonna use indomitable. Uh, even though you yeah, sixteen, I probably <laughs> take it. <laughs> even you I am okay. afraid. Actually, I'm I just gonna do into a pit with a T-Rex. I'll take the ten rather than the one. <clears throat> All right, so everyone pass after that, except okay. for Steven. Except for Steven. Except for Steven, even with Indomitable. Steven scared he can. All <laughs> right, so we, we are going now. Okay. I'm sorry, go ahead. So you're, okay. 31 to hit? Yeah, uh-huh. 16 magical piercing. And then I will attempt uh, another ch another attack. Oh, 31. 14 magical piercing. And then Flurry of Blows. Seventeen, does that hit? Yeah. Oh, you need a sixteen. Oh. Right uh, so that is eleven magical damage, and I will attempt a stunning strike. So it has to succeed at a DC nineteen con saving throw. Okay. Well, it and at 20, that means it's immune for the rest of the, yeah. the counter. Immune? Nat 20. That's what that uh, means. Immune? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That seems a bit much. <laughs> the a, rest a home of the counter rule. seems a bit much. Okay, 26. I'll Three give it an advantage. For nine magical bludgeoning damage. And I will 
won't do that one. I will do this one. How many attacks you get? Or what is going on here? So that was four attacks, and then I on one of the attacks I stunning striked, and on this attack I'm doing my hand of harm, so that is an automatic eleven necrotic. Okay. So I'm gonna assume he can't be poisoned. Uh, he's undead. So necrotic still does damage, you think? For undead? Yeah, uh, it depends on the stat block. Some yeah, do. Some are immune. Some are resistant. Need a poison. Yeah. Okay. Did the uh, necrotic look like it did anything? Or, yeah, it did or the damage. damage? It did. Okay. Rotted him some more, I guess. Rotted uh, more. Alrighty. All right. My turn. Um, <clears throat> crying out loud. Yeah, fine. I'll let you have your turn. And we both rolled an at twenty, so that means I give mm. you guys, you know, your turn again, then his turn again, and then everybody else. <laughs> oh. All right, so I'm going to have him bite uh, Griffin, Stephen, because he, Griff, St or Stephen, because Stephen fell down into him. And he well, because Stephen is so low in the initiative, he hasn't fallen fallen yet, so <laughs> he's still about twenty feet up in the air. Uh -huh. <laughs> really, I I almost agree with it. Almost. Okay, so of that, that Tyrannosaurus Rex, it's cool. Yeah, I know. Okay, like so his, like all right, his... so it's gonna do a bite on him and a tail on Renaira. Steven, you're coming out of his bum. Bite on. I do have my shield out, Steven. so my armor class is twenty five. Seventeen, and a tail on Renaira. Uh, how is his tail reaching 18. me, sir? How is his tail reaching me? I am on top of his neck. It's called tail action. Tail. Have you ever seen a horse swat a Scorpion fly strike. Before? Just, just let's let's have On some. Its neck. Let's just have some <laughs> fun, Renaira. It missed. Eighteen. Which armor class? I don't want to tell you. <laughs> I thought it was like twenty something. Want... Yeah, it's twenty-eight. What? Oh my gosh! <laughs> I gotta double everything's uh, skills by double. <laughs> All right. Agent, Agent bumped up my decks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm never going to hit what you. Can you say? Unless, unless I roll nat 20. That's why I really want to All right, Renara, your turn. Oh, All wait. Right. Um, on Starting on your turn, there's a stench, so you got to save versus its stench. Uh, I, I am immune because of, of Scar at this point, I think. DC, well, it's a uh, DC 10 constitution save. DC 10 constitution save. You're five feet from it. That's not bad. Okay. All right, you're fine. I am. I am so excited about my turn. I have such a great thing to do. <laughs> we, so if we get there. Yeah. What is that damage? Oh 21? yeah, I got max damage, so twenty-one. Magical uh, piercing. Okay. Oh, uh, that was okay. Uh, 29, 4, 18, magical piercing. Okay. And then we're going to clear your flows. Oh, 16 hour pass. Yeah. Thirty. Mm -hmm. Hey, Ron. Yeah. Does Kubazan thirteen magical bludgeoning make Steven not get afraid of things? It's just well, no, just it gives you that DC or that strength. That's it. That's What's the, the point of it? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, were you, are you the frightened? Point of it? Yeah. Oh. I got a ten on the save. So you're just With what a disadvantage. Um. Is it? He can't yeah. move closer to it willingly. Good thing I'm, I'm falling. falling. I mean, you're within range of right now, so you're just at disadvantage, I guess. Okay, uh, the t I did the ten. Ten necrotic. Yep, that's it. Oh that no, I did the thirteen. Is... Oh, okay, I yeah, and ten. then ten necrotic from hand of harm. Okay. All right, my turn again. My same thing. Bite on Steven. Miss? Oh, I, I 
do it from the and a tail whap on Renara. Oof. Yes. Okay. Cornelius. Cornelius! Cornelius! I'm going to lean over the edge and fire down into the maw of this beast. Well, it's pretty much right level with you, so. Oh. Standing up. I will just. If, at eye level. Uh. How's it looking so far after my friend's been pummeling it for turns? Yeah, she's breaking its bones <laughs> bit by bit. That's all it is, is bones. I don't even know. There's really. nothing else to break. Uh, I'm going to go uh, grip point sharpshooter. Watch your crossfire. A <laughs> fire. Ah. Uh, hey, not 20. Da -da -da -da. Wow! <clears throat> Good work, brother! Um, uh, I'm so excited about my turn, I can't even take it. I'm gonna reroll that too. Uh, okay, so 45 damage. Okay. <sighs> I can't move. Why? Alright, I'm gonna shoot again. I'm gonna put Eagle Eye on it too. I shoot him the first time. I'm oh, sorry, was it? I missed that. I'm oh, sorry. Damage? 45 damage. Ow. No, oh, it was a crit. Uh, was I'm gonna a... shoot again, do the same thing. But this is some eagle eye. Shoot! That's probably a hit. Uh, 19 to hit. Yep. Okay. Plus a 1d6. 31, 30. 34 damage. Okay, he's about to collapse. <laughs> no one else gets horse, Scott, and Steven. Steven, how many attacks do we get per turn? Three or two? Three. Okay, last shot. Ah. Same thing. <laughs> don't make it, exactly. don't let it go down, Ron. I don't want to get it hurt. Fire! Same thing. Uh, <sighs> so, what is that, 17 to hit? <sighs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> All right. Plus one d six. Uh, just to be nice to you, these doors open, and you see come rushing out. But it's not my turn. It's your. It's Stephen and Sam's turn, or Scar's. Yeah. My Ga name is Scar. Yes. Uh, I still have. I still have the movement on my turn. You're too late. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You can. Just you know what? Uh, you guys just do whatever. Just just. I'm gonna jump. You, t you kill a gas. Just say, don't even say hit a gas. Just say kill a gas. And then I'll just turn it over. <laughs> oh, just, hello, just, Steven. Just describe what we do in it. Yeah, it just tell me what you, everything happens and I'll just do that. And then oh, I fly I'm through ready. the air and I shoot lasers out of my eyes. <laughs> Scar, okay. you're trying to I believe it. Cornelius, come. The only refuge now from those scary... Oh, no, wait. This is Scar. Yes. Quick, we have to get to your, your brother, Cone Cobulus. It's he's, the he's same got... voice. Nothing changed. <laughs> Quick, we, we gotta get to your. Uh, we gotta, <laughs> gotta get to your brother. Come on, voice actor. I'm gonna run over. Voice actor, so I'm gonna Sam. Run over. Yeah, I'm gonna run over behind Cone Cobulus. <laughs> and I'm gonna look over, and if this is uh, so much flavor, it's gonna be great. Um, I'm gonna look over, uh, I'm gonna sort of crouch down behind the, the throne and I'm going to look up and I'm going to whisper in Concabulas' ear. I'm going to go, can you, can you, can you save me, dad? <laughs> what, is, what is happening? <laughs> I, we are losing it, I agree. <laughs> right. I'm going to cast, I'm going to take out my wand of many magic missiles, which I've never used before, but I'm going to use it this time. There you go. <laughs> and I'm going to stick it through the illusion. And have Corn Cobulus go, I got you. I got you, son! <laughs> Lift his Corn Cob gun and shoot! Instead of shooting Corn Cobs, it'll shoot magic missiles! 
This campaign started off like a Marvel movie and ended like the <laughs> old. <laughs> ended like the extended universe. <laughs> Uh, and like and a Disney shoots, Marvel, <laughs> the shows. Instead of three missiles, it shoots five, six missiles because of my wand of many magic missiles. Wow! <laughs> and I'm gonna hit the ga- one of the ghasts is okay. Just one, or can you split them up? Well, I mean, I'm just, yeah, well, we'll see how it goes. Okay. Hey, uh, this place looks weird. Ab- Abigail, how do I do? Why is it three times three? What is going on? One d four. Yeah, I saw that too. What? It looked really weird. That's weird. Uh, because you rolled once and it's doing it three times. But why is it? It's giving you the same damage for every roll. Is how uh, uh, it innately does it. But that's nine, to, <laughs> nine damage. But um, you mean it, it does three missiles all, all in a go? Yeah, it rolls but them all as the exact same roll. Oh, I rolled a two. I see. I so yeah, two. you so, rolled yeah, a two plus one. So it's saying every every missile is three. Because okay. that's how oh. some people roll it. Is you just roll one d four, and every missile does that die damage. Oh, that's so odd. Not everyone rolls every die. That's fine. Separately. That's fine. But it, it, I roll a six missiles because of the wand of many magic missiles, so I'll do the damage again, which is six, so weird so fifteen damage. Oh, that's it. <laughs> okay. That attack was ghastly. <laughs> I think that was it. <laughs> that's uh. I go very, very dramatic yeah. for the little bit. <laughs> <laughs> can I cast very impotent I... uh, father mm. figure? That's all I got. <laughs> uh, yeah. Steven. All right, so Steven hasn't even finished falling to the floor yet, and the T Rex <laughs> is already down. Well, you still got to save uh, versus its stench. Ten Constitution save. Give you that oh, much. That's this like is do a that. guaranteed just, just save. You, can't, you don't have to save. Just roll that one. Just roll that one for me. I may have indom- You just want to make me use another indomitable All right. uh, 21. <laughs> what? Okay. All right. So what do you do, Steven? Uh, fighter ability. Indomitable. Uh, indomitable. So, like, Steven is falling, and what, a bunch of these, like, ghouls come out of Yeah, these doorways over here. here. Uh, so he is going to... You're 20 feet down. I'm still falling. It hasn't even been my turn yet. It's your turn. You're down. You're fine. Okay. You're standing around uh, the, the limbs of this dead, bo- the bones and rotted flesh of this dead T Rex. And Renaira's comes falling down, and you say, That counts as only one. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will probably just cast, like, create bonfire up here okay. so that they get. Charred. To deal with some fire damage as they're coming out of it. And when I cast a cantrip, I can also make a weapon attack, so I will throw my spear of flying. I can't be right. Is it five feet, the, the bonfire, or more than five? Yeah, it's just one square. I mean, you can get two of them. I don't care. I got a 19 to hit. For what? Uh, With my spear. Oh. Threw it. So, what's the damage for the bonfire? Uh, so they have to make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, Is it this turn, turn or on their turn? Okay. On their turn. Okay. So go ahead and roll uh, your nineteen. Yeah, that's a hit. Their armor class is a fifteen. Okay. One uh, so d. Oops. Somewhere. Uh, 13 points of piercing damage to the guy in front. Okay. And that's my turn. Alright. Legolas? I mean, we're now I, I have no bow, and I'm way too short <laughs> to be an elf. Oh, sorry, can I move? Can I, I guess, yeah. can I start making my way back up the stairs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, are there stairs? Yeah. <laughs> 20 feet stairs? Or, okay. Right. Oh, you mean from yeah, below the... Uh, yeah, maybe you have to do a little bit of a climb, but whatever. That's fine. You're fine. Are these yeah, like walls? Right yeah. These are just like walls? Okay. 20 feet high. I don't even care. Woohoo! Do you burn yourself? I step right here. Because <laughs> that's within reach. 
<clears throat> All right, buddies. Wait, is it? What? 16 magical piercing. Why can't I miss that? Six. Okay, on with the first guy. Uh, this one right one, here. Yeah, sorry. 16. Still up? Yeah. Sixteen magical piercing. Oh my god, I know what I'm doing on my next turn. Okay. Do you? Mm -hmm. Does a fourteen hit? Uh, I think. We'll... Here, I'm just moving this over here. I was trying to do, never mind. I was trying to do a joke on you, and then it just—I couldn't, got stuck. Okay, uh, <laughs> it's armor class is fifteen. All right. Stupid tiles. Stupid then foundry tiles. Sixteen. Sixteen. There we go. Okay. I mean, you're breaking them down. Fifteen. Breaking uh, down the gun. You just doing your little Bruce Lee on them. And 11 necrotic. And he's poisoned, but I assume he's immune. Yeah, he's undead, so. Okay. Is that it? All right, that's it. Wow. Didn't kill. They attack you, Monks yeah! Have, Monks have a lot of attacks. They're not oh, super gotta, high powered attacks. I got to this door. These guys start calling out. But they're on fire, maybe. Oh my gosh, there's a guy right at the door. I can't get him. Like the door just get keeps him. clicking on me. Get him, Ronnie! <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna... Shoot, they're gonna all have to... They're all getting by that fire. Okay. So what do they gotta save? Dex save? Versus what? Steven. Ooh, 21. Um, it's... The save is... Uh, 16. Sorry, 18. Okay, so one of them saved. I'll, I'll do the others in a sec. Reckless. Missed. Uh, this guy, let me do his save. Net one, what's the double damage? For the bonfire. So, it's regularly 3d8s, but because I have something that gives me Extra fire damage. Super sick. A regular, regular damage is 22. Double damage is uh, plus another 14. And if they save, they take no damage. So this guy took that much, but he still gets to attack with his claws on what's her face? Need a nat 20. Nat 20. Yay! I, I hit her. Oh, that's weird. Okay, so you are... Um... What? No damage? That must have done something wrong here. Um, save or become diseased until the cure disease... Okay, save. You gotta save. Uh, what? Let me... There's no damage, it's just disease. I know, what's up? Something's wrong with oh, I must have not put something um, on there. Um, Let me go to get. See what I did I'm wrong. I'm sorry, my friend. I am immune to that, so. Oh, you immune to disease? Disease, yeah. Okay. Here. No, oh, here's the damage. 2d6 oh, plus Oh, now three. you're just adding damage? Well, I'm going to the ghast. Hmm. Two D I just didn't. I don't know. It's not in the thing for some reason. Oh, it's a nat 20. So eight and 12, 21. Okay. Wait, uh, did you say what? eight and 12? <laughs> right? 20. 20. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> okay, this guy, I just gotta save these guys for the fire. 
Uh, fail. All right, give me another damage. Oh, uh, you want you want me to reroll? Yeah, yeah, for another guy. Uh, twenty-three points of fire damage. Ooh. Okay, and then another one failed. So another damage. Yep. Yeah. Seventeen. All right. Okay, uh, it is now Cornelius. Cornelius! Uh, let's see, I poke out from my cowardly position, hiding behind the shadows. And I'm going to, well, David! <laughs> You've come to aid me again. Uh. How brave of you. David, let me hold this gun steady for me. Uh, I'm going to sh- Shoot the one that Runaira is fighting. <clears throat> okay, looks like it's about to collapse, but that's fine. Runaira. Yeah, I see what I see what his plan is. I shall save you, fair maiden. <laughs> oh, is that actually? I kind of want to line the shot up so it hits the one behind as well. Yeah. Okay, let's do that. I'll spend a grip point to do that. Um, and then I'm balancing the gun on David, so I'll use the grip point to shoot through. Uh, and I'll put uh, Eagle Eye on the first one. Kill Thief. Yes. Yes. Uh, 21 to hit. Dude, I shall smite him. Uh, that was actually a really good roll. Uh, nice! 40 damage. That was a really good roll. Alright, well that one collapses. Is there... Does it go through or whatever? Yep. It just adds two to the AC behind, or rather minus is two to minus four. So 21, so the second one hits for 19. Okay. Yeah. So he also takes 40. Oh, 40? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then <sighs> I'm gonna shoot that guy at the back that I just hit. Uh, Are you running out of bullets by now? <laughs> I would have. Uh, I'm going to add this, make a violent shot, so it gives me an extra dice roll. Yes! So that's going to double that. You run out of bullets, and Renaira runs out of feet. This is going to be an <laughs> awesome roll. 68 damage. Ow. <laughs> It ricochets off and hits for nine. It, it could have been more awesome, <laughs> yeah. though. And Cornelius's arm just like comes off <laughs> <laughs> through the through the stone wall. <laughs> the gun stays there. I just get launched back through time. Uh, uh, there's one last one that I'm just gonna do. A uh, great shot, sharpshooter on hit. And well, you can see this one. one. What's that? You can see this one past Renaira. Yeah, that that's the one. I but meant. since you missed, you hit Renaira. I have 17's a miss? <laughs> uh, well, you, the hole through her robe, like the sleeve, <laughs> there's a little she hole. Went like, little bullet she hole. went like this and it went through her arms. 28 uh, damage. Okay. Reroll that. I did. Oh. Yeah. All right, Scar. <laughs> Reroll it. I did. Scar, there are three still up. Three still up. Mm. Uh, four. I take that back. Four. Okay. Four still. Um, They're all kind of, yeah, in the back there. Three in the back and then the one up front here. Through the fire. If you can see through the bonfire. Yeah. Okay. Um. What I would like to do is I'm going to use my Ring of Winter. And I'm going to (laughs) go, I'm going to lift up my Ring of Winter, and I'm going to have Poincabula shoot again, and I'm going to say, Oh, Steven, funnel of zombies coming your way. Um, And I'm going to make the Ring of Winter cast Ice Wall, Wall of Ice. Where are you, Wall of Ice? Oh, yeah. And I'm going to have it 
<laughs> Wait, it's, it's someone's having more fun than the rest of us. I'm telling you. <laughs> it's telling me to place a measure template, but that's not what it looks like. It's basically, um, it's 10, uh, 10 let's, foot by 10. Let's 10 do foot. theater of the mind with this one. Yeah, yeah. It's 10, 10 foot. I'll show you with my, uh, can you see my, um, my dry thing? Yeah. 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 So I'm going to have it start. <laughs> this is so exciting. Um, I'm going to have it start like so here. I think. And go here. Do you want to yeah, block what? off Renara? Is that what you're doing? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to make a little car. So it's 10, 10 foot square panels. So I'm going to make it go like that. And then all the way up here. And then across here. And then have it go down. I'm just going to have it go as far as possible, maybe towards over to me. And you're creating a wall? Yeah. Like. So a yeah, wall above, like a wall that cuts yeah. off the corridor. So yeah, like that. Yeah, exactly. And how, how many feet is it? It's like, t this is 10 feet to there. And then it's like, uh, say 20 feet. So that's 30 feet. Uh, another 30, 40, 35 feet. That's 60. 30. And then I'm gonna have it go down here, down to. I can make it go 40 feet. So down here, I'll go. Steve, uh, Cornelius, here comes a, a funnel of zombies, and I can make it go all the way physically over to here. <laughs> yeah. Fascinating. <laughs> yeah, and then you, I'm gonna go. A and funnel of zombies. Yeah, yeah, I'm in the shoot. Oh. And, Does it um, do any damage? Or is it just yeah, solid? Yeah, so if, if they're caught in the wall, uh, which I'm hoping the bottom ones in the bottom will be caught in the wall. Well, that's up to you, um, I guess. Yeah, I'm just gonna like cut it across the bottom ones, yeah. And they do if, if they they can take uh, they have to make a dexterity saving throw and a failed save. The creature takes 10d6 cold damage or half as much damage as successful save. Oh, what? Uh, uh, oh, 18. Yeah. Okay, that's a fail. And let me do the other one real quick. Oops. And that's a fail. All right. So, what's the damage? Damage is thirty-nine. Okay, that one gets crushed, and the other one dies, stuck in the wall. So there's two <clears throat> gas. Three now. left. Three left. There's only one or three light gas, and there's only one way out. <laughs> uh, Stephen. I'm, I'm using my movement to run towards Cornelius. Steven, you see a big wall of Yeah, so ice just to be clear, there's now an ice wall blocking the whole me thing. from... I guess. guess. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I'm sorry. There was no other... Uh, it was fun. You can go over to where Cornelius is and get them when they come out to shoot. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I think... Um, can you see through the wall? Yeah, it's just a nice wall. So I could I know, you fully see through it. Oh, is it not opaque? No, it's it's a, it's it's a, a wall of ice. So I I imagine it's only one foot thick. So hmm. oh, I imagine it's like sort of translucent. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, you can see through it. Yeah. Uh, Kevin, uh, Stephen, Kevin. Stephen yeah, is going Steven. to use uh his wall of jumping or his ring of jumping. <laughs> How, how tall are the walls? Ten feet. Can he ten, jump? feet. Ten, ten feet tall. How tall are the ceilings? Can he jump over the wall, hypothetically? Yeah, I, th I think it'll be... You can do it, but let's do a little... Let's say a f uh, 14 difficulty. So I'm using the ring of jumping, which triples my jumping distance. Okay. And my uh, not moving high jump without the ring of jumping is nine feet off the ground okay yeah you know what i think so with the ring yeah. of jumping i can jump i think uh, 27 yeah, it, it, feet off yeah the you're ground. good it sounds like you could just jump to the top and climb over rather easily oh, so that's fine oh sweet okay that's fine so yeah i'll just jump over there yeah <laughs> and then uh that probably uses an action right like ring of jumping probably uses an action oh it's a bonus action to cast jump okay 
So I will use a bonus action to cast jump on myself. Uh, jump over there. Uh, and then... I guess is my Create Bonfire still going? Yep. Yeah. I'll come in here and start swinging. Okay. There's a... Th- I mean, there's still three in there, so... Ah! It's crowded. <laughs> but go for it. Cornelius, my idea was that you could use your... Your, uh, you know that shot that pierces people? The piercing oh, yeah. shot? As they all start like running down in, in one line, single file That'd line. Nice. Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah, well, everyone else but wants the glory. Even <laughs> mess everything Because, you know, it's only, you only get XP if you kill them, so. Yeah. <laughs> I heard someone's story about how they did that. At the end of the campaign, the cleric was level one. <laughs> <laughs> the warrior was, like, the fighter was like level 12. <laughs> Oh, sorry. 16. Yeah, hit. Donate your XP to the healer in that case. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, yeah. All right. So that's 18 damage on the first one. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Actually, plus. Oh. Oh, no. What level are we, Cornelius? Robbie? 13. Okay, that's right. Oh, it must have got reset. Uh, there's also supposed to be uh, fire damage. Oh on that. So there's another 2d6 of fire damage. That's another 10. That's my first attack. <laughs> Second attack is a 21 to hit. Uh-huh. Type this all out. 26 damage. Okay. And then my third attack is a 16. Yep. That's it. <laughs> oh, 15 hour rest. Oh yeah, re-roll those ones and twos. 29, 29 damage. Uh, almost dead, but I'm, I'm on, you hacked him up. Yo, I still got my bonfire in there. Renaira. Oh, I missed that. Kitty, is that the kitty cat or something? Or puppy dog? Yeah. If this is a puppy, it's a very ugly puppy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's a very cute puppy. <laughs> very cute. Well, this, Feline. Is, this is the best puppy, the kind that's not a puppy. All right, so... Kudari, you're stuck in the ice, so you die. Uh, I'm not stuck <laughs> in the ice. I'm going to run up the ice because it is a wall and I can walk on walls. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. I'm done arguing. <laughs> I mean, you want to make me roll a, a dex save or something? No, uh, or no. an acrobatic strike right? No, no big deal. Doesn't it say you can't run on ice? It's only ten feet. So. No. <clears throat> I mean, she can go to the wall and. I can walk hop on over. water. The wall's right oh, there, right. so. All right, so. Uh, the regular wall. I guess is. we're gonna run on the ice, um, and there's really no place to stop except for on the wall. So I'm gonna. I'm on the wall here. <laughs> um. I mean. Or, you know, you could just leave over this area. I know, or you could step in here. Well, there's not really space, is there? There's a door there. Do I want to step in the unknown room in the middle of combat, though? <laughs> I'm fine with whatever. It's not a... They were reckless attacking, yes? Uh, yes. Yes, they uh-huh. were. I forgot about that. Aww. Oh, I did not. <laughs> as soon as you said reckless attack, I was like, yes. I, I, I stopped using it, too. <laughs> uh, 19 oh, so I remember. 19? Okay, right, that was dead. Yeah, there we go, Robbie. Now I get my key back. He gets the ex- she gets the XP. <laughs> you killed me. There's two left, though. though. I'm going to move that fire just so we can see. Why does this keep doing this to me? Ah. Fourteen magical piercing to this one. Okay. Yep. Hit. Hit ish, maybe. Twelve. Twelve magical bludgeoning. And then... I think we know how this one's going to end. 
I didn't roll with advantage last time. Shame on me. Uh, for 16 magical bludgeoning. Okay. They surrender. <laughs> Are they smart enough to do that? We're sorry! 14, 14, 14 uh, necrotic. We were just told to sneak up on you and attack you. We're sorry. <laughs> It was their idea, the you know the ones that are already dead. That was their it was their idea. And then uh, if there's if it's still alive, I'm going to run up and down back down the wall again. He tries to do a sneak nope. attack on you. Uh, this one gets no <laughs> AOP because I attacked it. This one can take an AOP. You can? Yeah, because I didn't cool. attack him. Yes. The one in the wall. Oh, is it in the wall? Uh, I have no idea what's uh, happening here, honestly. No, the no. Uh, well, he took damage, yeah. I don't know if he's in the wall, though. He took damage. No, you got pushed to one side of the wall. 25. That's a hit, right? No. <laughs> okay, whatever. Ron, I don't think you have a monster that can hit Brunei. <laughs> no, I don't think so either. Uh, uh, Nat 20s? They try to run through the fire to get to Steven. So I'm gonna roll their, you know, fire damage. It's a bad idea. Yeah, they're just, they're just, they're like me, retards. You know, they just don't know what to do. So, <laughs> <laughs> fail. All right, so do some fire damage, and oof, twelve, sixteen. Is that a fail? Yep. Okay. Twenty-three. That one dies. Don't even get to you. Burns in the fire. But I'm going to give Runeira the kill for that. Alright. And take. Cornelius. Cornelius and, and Runeira both killed that one. Here. And Cornelius. 20! Yay! What, you, don't, you don't want your second wind back or something? I don't six. get anything back when I kill anything. That's like some modern, like, broken shit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, 2d6 damage. And roll, so take 19 and roll versus paralysis. Uh, oh. Save is a 14. Is it, is it magical damage? I mean, sorry, not paralysis, just disease. Is it magical damage? Uh, No. Because my heavy, heavy armor master means that I take minus three. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, so take 16. You guys just do whatever you want. Just when I tell you, just you can change it. <laughs> whatever. Okay, sorry, master. what was it? A con save? Heavy armor master. Yeah, fourteen it's magical. Yeah, if it's magical physical damage, then it it mm -hmm. doesn't protect. Fourteen con save for disease. It's not as good as I. Get paralyzed. Okay, you're fine. Well, and it's only minus three at this level. Cornelius. Yes. You, you can see through the ice. I don't know. And Cornelius, I guess you can uh, shoot I, I, I'm right next have, to you, so I say each of those ice sheets has 30 hit points if you want to shoot through it, but I have my plan. But I can also just go like this, right? Or no? And you only have one bullet left, so make it count. <laughs> Is there any, even anybody left? There's one guy left. There's wall right. There's a big old wall right here. Where's the one guy who's left? Oh my god. Uh, okay, Ron. He's, he's really low, though. He's, he's, You're going to uh, shoot through me and, Ron, the, wall, I couldn't and through all the bodies. Like, a jar drive pinks twenty feet straight up in the air, my boots are jumping. <laughs> Flip around there, and then, and then as I'm flying oh. down, I'm just shoot, reload, <laughs> shoot, reload, shoot, reload. Stick <laughs> <laughs> grid. I just think about like if this I think is you should movie... get stuck in between the top of the ice wall and the ceiling, <laughs> yeah. and just have if your this like is feet a movie, dangling out to, the back. They would have to do this like, part in like CGI because like, just like sitting <laughs> like this at the top of the wall. It would be like when Yoda fought that and Count Dooku, and it looks so bad. Oh, I have a seized candy. Okay, I'm the Rich director who tells you things, but you guys never listen. Rich you just do, do whatever you want. Sharp shooter. <laughs> 22 to hit. I think you might be the director who never read the script. <laughs> that too. I mean, we are at level 13. Like, we're... That's true. Yeah. 33 to hit. Yeah, okay. Dead. 33 damage. Alrighty! I, I said, what's this? <laughs> <laughs> Dead. I'm not going to give you the XP unless you kill them all and you kill them all. Nice. Um, 
All right, that was exciting. All right, I I get rid of the bonfire and then I come and walk in. Which the it looks like the walls are transparent, but the door isn't. Which door. Is weird. It opens from your side. No, there's a wall. Like I can see that. There's oh yeah, there's a room something. in there. Yeah. There's a room in there where the gas were. Oh, I see. They came wait, out. Wait, Ryder, what did you find up here in this room up here? Oh yeah, you guys want to go back there? Uh, yes, lots of gold. Ryder just hops over the wall, basically. And how long did that ice stay there? Do you want it to fade out, or is it just there? Uh, I don't. I, I no. It's. I. I. I could just. I could make it go away, but I'm annoyed, so I won't. <laughs> <laughs> Well, You're right. annoyed, Sam. <laughs> you just well, locked me in the basement. <laughs> I had a whole plan where we we're gonna just have them come running at us through this corridor and just pick them off one by well, one. Well, I had a plan but that, that five, the, these five, things would hurt five, you guys. Uh, five turns <laughs> later, we finally see the first one picking around the corner. <laughs> I know, it's gonna be hilarious. I'm just gonna be like, "Come on, guys!" and we can like play cards at the end of the wall and wait for them to come. <laughs> Five turns later, the first one makes it through. He's all confused. And then Cornelius is like, hold on! Fire! Or maybe he's a bad lab rat and just gets yeah. kind of stuck and confused. Like, he's not sure where to turn next. He's doing one of these. He's like, is this the, is this the way? The walls <laughs> of the yeah, room. Yeah, yeah, the walls of the room are adorned with the tile mosaics of a jungle city intermingled with frescoes of flowering plants, birds, insects, and humans wearing gold skirts and carrying spears and ornate jugs. The ceiling is painted to look like a clear blue sky. A small bejeweled cockroach rests atop a sarcophagus of black basalt in the middle of the room. A two foot diameter orb hanging from a chain above the sarcophagus is made of hammered gold to resemble a smiling sun. Eat it. This does not look like any of the Tomb of the Nine Gods right here, right? No. I would normally not do this, but following the spirit of Ejin, um, did you... Oh, yeah. What What exactly... Um, like, how, how is the sarcophagus? Like, is it locked or something? Does it look locked? Uh, let's see. Oh, the lid of the black sarcophagus bears a name etched in common, Napaka. Uh, the lid is sealed with strips of melted lead. Mm. I can stride through it. Well, it's sealed with lead. That doesn't like mean the sarcophagus is made of lead. Yeah. No, it's not. Definitely oh. different material. All right. Well, um, Apaka. When I it looks well I, done, like a nice sarcophagus, you know, like I, I smooth found lines something and here, and she will try to open it. I a jeweled card. Uh, it's it feels you know sealed with that. You should just try to push it open or something. It won't, or won't budge. Take off the seal. Yeah, you you realize the lead is lead. You can kind of pry at it. Rachel, pry at the lead. Okay. <laughs> it takes you a little while. Does anyone else want to come up with it there, or what do you? What do the rest of you do? I, I might need uh, a strong person to open up the sarcophagus. <clears throat> um, person who's not here. <clears throat> uh, Scarlet will run over and try to help you. <laughs> I can't put Scarlet on the map though for some reason. I miss Scarlet. Oh, you mean little monkey Scarlet? Yeah, little monkey Scarlet, because I cast Find Familiar when I was arrested. Oh, did you? Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> Where is it? Where's little Scarlet? Here she is. Did somebody say strong? Here you go. Uh -huh. Here's ah, little Scarlet. You Next to you, Scar. Um, Scarlet, go help Runara. <laughs> here. You know, my uh -huh. daughter could have <laughs> played tonight. <laughs> She's not. She's oh, not where working. is she? She's exactly. I'm gonna give her a hard time. Oh, she's she with, come she's, back for the finale. She's Summon hanging out with, her into your room. She's hanging out with her suitor. Die. She's. Oh. They're like an old couple now. <laughs> Scarlet will uh will look at the corner of Cobulus and be like, 
oh, boo boo, and then jump around a little bit, and Concavius would try to peck Scarlet. Well, he's, he's stuck, or whatever. You can move him. That's right. No, he's, a, he's, a, he's a, an illusion, so right. he can walk right through <sighs> Hello, Scarlet. Well, you look very nice, little monkey. And then I'm on the other side going, Scarlet, this is Corn Cobulus. Uh, Cornelius and Steven, what are you guys doing? Uh, I was going to go through this door to figure out where the gas came from. Um, gas? I to head down oh, this they, hallway. No, they were in here. The, the stench of this is I don't know. them. Can I look down this hallway here? I don't have any. I don't have any sight on Cornelius. I think he got Nothing. swapped with Corn Cobulus. Yeah. Vision enabled. Vision range. I've got nothing. It's so sad. I can't even look into this. Hallway. Yeah, hold on. If Let I move into it, I just disappear. Yeah, that's weird. Oh, I see a little circle around you. Yeah, tiny. Yeah, I can only see one. Foot. I don't. That doesn't make sense. Vision I'm range. Near, I'm nearsighted. <laughs> Steven, vision. bring me my spectacles. Do you have dark vision or just basic vision? I'm just a human. Oh, if you need light, well, that's here what you it go. is. Oh, that's what I it is. Light. I'm just a human. Yeah, that's what the, yeah. You don't have you don't have dark vision. Steven, it turns out I'm not disabled. <laughs> oh, you needed light. Yeah, I was oh. just. I'm just I wouldn't human. go that far. I forgot. Okay, I so you guys are off doing that. All right, hold on, hold on. Oh, let <gasps> me. If you're looking right there, let me uh, describe what you see. Uh, as we split the party. Okay, hold on a sec. Where are we at? Oh my gosh, I gotta read this now, so hold on a second. Born Cobulus. Um, what's his name? What's the guy's name? The, uh, little, little, uh, oh. well, sorry. Goblin guy that's with us. After the, the head? Dragon. <sighs> Dragon Bait says, oh, yeah. oh, who's this? I said, this is Corn Cobulus, Dragon Bait. Dragon Bait can't talk. Yeah, you see the, uh, oh, let me read, just read it. After 10 feet, this dusty corridor becomes a staircase that descends 15 feet to a lower tunnel. Resting on the floor at the bottom of the staircase is an old treasure chest with a rusty built-in lock. Just beyond the chest, the tunnel opens up to a huge dark chamber. So, Cornelius, we're splitting this, right? And we're not going to tell anybody else about it? Of course. It's, 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 should it's, should it's, I get that in writing? We're splitting it three it's, ways. It's, Me, it's, you, and Corn Cobulus. No. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you say that, Griffin, uh, you hear a message in your head. Uh, Cornelius from Corn Cobulus. What? I have the spell he can message. send messages? Yeah, I have the cantrip message. And I can, I can I, he points at you and he goes, Brother, what are you looking? What do you see over there, brother? Uh, you see David the Rivet Divot or whatever wants to get past yes. you guys. You know, he's being pushed like onward, you know. David, mind oh. your manners. Due to Nang Nang. No, let him, let him through. Oh. Let him through. Go on, go <laughs> on, David. All right, you let him through? Oh. He rushes uh, down to the chest. Go for it, David. You got this, buddy. Oh, look at that tongue. He's, she's got a uh, genetic problem. <laughs> you can't oh. put your tongue back in your head. <laughs> oh, wow. Really? Beautiful, dog. You can't put your tongue back in your head. <laughs> oh, my God. You can't put your tongue back in your head. I'm a cat. I'm a kitty cat. Mm -hmm. And I dance, 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 and I dance, dance, dance. Okay. Oh. Uh, Have you guys seen that video? It's hilarious. No. I highly recommend it. Uh, okay, what is what here? Going to this. Yeah, this is, there's like Aww. all these instructions, basically. Going to this. I'm trying to find the cat that lives here, but I... He's off, she's off sleeping somewhere. Are you trying to lick me? You cannot lick me. <laughs> wow. <sighs> Go and copy this. Oh, shoot. He's. You can see that David David is trying to open the lock, but it's. Oh. He, can't re, he can't reach into it with his grimy necrotic. He got a 17. I know, but he needs to have thieves' tools, you can tell. Uh, oh. Oh, I don't have thieves' I say, tools. David, why, why are you. So or something to that effect. 
Ambition. I have maybe. cook's utensils. Yeah, can I, I use? I, I don't have thieves' tools. Can I use my I, chef's knife? I, I sure. I gotta make it a DC uh, thirteen. Thirty. <laughs> All right, David, out of the way. We, we you're, you're in on the treasure with <laughs> me and Cornelius. He tries to, you know, kind of move in front of you, but you know, you're that's not a problem for you. Well, you can't get into it, and so we're gonna split it. So either uh, we share it. He's doing doing this. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> You, it was like you could hear a screaming, screeching voice in his head, but you can't. What do you see, brother? Um. Okay. So yeah, you need a thirteen dexterity check without thieves, or with some other, with your knife or whatever you're gonna use. If you want to open, I have it. my cook's utensil. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna use inspiration. I'm gonna use my inspiration. Okay. Because I have a plus eleven, and. That's literally the only way I would fail that. All right, so are you okay over there, Renaira? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, you it opens up. Yeah, you unlock it and you open it up. What the hell are those? Oh, that's your response? No, this is metagaming. <laughs> what? All right, so you open the chest and um, it looks like it's empty except for a huge Raiders of the Lost Ark. Stone ball comes oh rolling down God. at you. <laughs> um, I'm not dope. Them. I run. Yeah. Where do you run and to? I go, this is the coolest it's coming thing down. ever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, DC 20. Okay. I'll shoot. I gotta read this. Okay. To be careful here. Yeah. I still it comes have jumping thundering off, so down. I'm just gonna jump. Oh, that's right. How, uh, I still have boots are jumping. Where do you jump? Uh. Where's it's coming from? I, yeah, you know, it's coming I from. I assume the, the ball top. is coming from like kind of Wait, where Cornelius Steven, is. Yeah. Catch the rock. <laughs> it's coming down at you and it's gonna. Oh, I should just like. <laughs> oh. They don't no, call me Steven Strong your head and, and then just rushes over top. Of your yeah, ball. it's a five foot diameter sphere of solid granite. Bound, um, no, I'll, I'll just down, run sorry. and jump yeah, over that's like five into here. Okay, right there. All right. Um, Probably like somewhere over there. All right. Okay. Oh, can I grab David David head uh, uh, on my way out? Yeah. That's lame. Uh, I'll try to jump <laughs> too. Are you, were you in danger? Uh, <laughs> I thought it was rolling my way. Oh, I thought it's it was rolling coming, up? like from the top of the stairs. Yeah, it yeah, starts above up. the stairs on the ceiling. Oh, yeah, but I was up there with you. Or down over there with you. Okay. So you, what do you do? You jump over there? Yep. Okay. Oh, we should have just jumped over it and just let it go past us. I I feel like that's enough. To, uh, I don't. Whatever. That would have been smarter, but, but this cool, is what it's we did. Cool. Right. But like jump Here's what happens. Away from it. And you take David yeah. David with you. Yeah. Yeah. Like the heroes you are. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. You see, uh, it the ball comes crashing down, and just this, this that 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 area that I just marked off collapses. You know, crashes in too. So you would have, if you would have just walked across here, ran across here, you would have fell into this other pit as well. Good thing we did. So, look at that. You guys avoided that as well. And the ball crashes into that pit. And the chest, the chest is, an, is annihilated. You know, the, the all of that uh, is gone. Uh, Renaira, let's go back to Renaira. Renaira, you you've cleared oh, no, up. Oh no! If ever, if if Scar's leaving too, like everyone's oh, you head leaving, back she, okay. she'll. Shall I back out? All right. No, no, I was just. That's fine. Like li literally everyone else. Yeah, you is hear gone, you hear the whole and... stone crashing fiasco, or actually not even a fiasco. I so... hear shrieks like little girls. Gone. Oh, ball babies. You see, yeah, uh, run away. <laughs> you see the uh, now uh, sort of a steam come rising up from the pit that that has just opened up, and there's acid down there. Just over along the wall over here. 
Drop back down. Scar, you don't have dark vision either. Who has dark vision in this party? Just Steven? I'm sorry? Nice. So yeah, Steven the... is the only one with dark vision. So you all avoided the uh, acid pit trap and stone thing quite brilliantly. Oh, makes my job easier, I guess. Okay, what do y'all do? Oh, oh, let me get this room going here. You're in this room now. You're in it. Okay, we are in 55. Four marble <laughs> columns support the ceiling of this grand tomb. Twin staircases ascend to an upper gallery where a carving in the form of a giant maze adorns the wall. On the floor of the tomb stands an opaque crystal sarcophagus that is constantly changing color. Minotaur murals adorn the walls on the lower level of the tomb. Oh. This is level four. <gasps> I'm gonna use it. Oh. Okay, never mind. We're good. We're good. Uh go check that carving out, Steven. Come on. Touch it. Go touch it. Check it out. What is it? What what's heroic about checking out the carving? Just uh, no, I have to. I'm not afraid of anything. I, I just saved a zombie from certain yeah, annihilation. That was stupid. That was awesome. Is what it was. <sighs> um, Renair, you come in. Uh, coming in. Uh, I'm. I'm in here. Um, when the sarcophagus turns to gold, touch it then. I love gold. I love gold. So, okay. the upper gallery where a carving in the form of a, a carving in the form of a giant maze adorns the wall. The floor of the tomb stands in an opaque crystal sarcophagus. Opaque crystal sarcophagus that is constantly changing color. Minotaur murals adorn the walls on the lower level of the tomb. You guys want to fight some minotaurs? Wait, 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 wait. This is a, a tomb for one of the nine gods, presumably, yeah. Yeah, uh, roll your perception, little miss perception person. Nineteen. Fourteen. Wow, you rolled nineteen? Is that gonna make it? You see that um um all these walls all on all the sides up to the stairs, they're all ha they're all secret doors, twenty foot uh, sections. All all of them, like all the panels, twenty feet by twenty feet, are are secret doors. That's not good. The uh, Stephen, because of Akubazan, you're looking at the maze carving or whatever. The intricate mm -hmm. carving shifts before your eyes. Its con configuration ever changing. The maze has no exits, exits, and its corridors are lit by tiny torches and clouded by fog. Oh, we didn't read the plaque for this level. The one with all the clues. Um, can I do some sort of investigation to see if maybe I can figure out what's going on? <laughs> Um, or history or arcana uh, or well okay roll your roll your insight In that's not one of the things that I wanted to do <laughs> uh, I'm well anyone not... else can feel free to come up with an idea uh, yeah let's just let's just go <laughs> we have to go check out the black oh. first Let's go back out into the main room. Yeah, and and also, if this is a tomb and we're all happy with our gods, do we want to try? Do we want to try opening it up and solving the puzzle? Don't we need here? to like save all the gods? Which god to... is it? Do we don't know I which don't god it is? Right. I think that's part of our mission. I think our our mission is to uh, 
to yeah, no, there's no... stop the salt to get the soulmonger. Yeah, monger there's no save all the gods gone. thing. Yeah, I don't. I there don't was think a it's... there was a stone thing on the front of it with all of the gods in it. Right. And we had to like. Yeah, you put the put cubes them in, in order. Uh huh. Correct. Oh, that was yeah, just to get in, in, and then order. that's yeah. like the gods don't matter anymore. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna confirm that with you just because oh. it's been so long. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. All right. So I don't no, I don't want you to go on a, a, a quest that never was to get made. All the gods. Yeah. Yeah, there was never a quest uh, to save the, the trickster gods. So we just need the keys more than the gods. Correct. Then. Yes. Okay. Well, yeah. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't want to. I don't want. Uh, I, I kind of want to fight the Minotaurs, is. though. But that'd be cool. I didn't get to fight the T Rex. We don't. We don't know what god this is, though, right? Yeah, <laughs> but what if we accidentally trigger the god and it's terrible? Oh, we don't have to trigger the god. I just want to get the T Rex. Um, you mean the Minotaurs? <laughs> could I? Could I take a peek around and see? Um, do we think fighting the Minotaurs would? Somehow trigger the god here, or every time we've opened a tomb, you still have to interact with something yeah, inside that's... the tomb to free the god. Well, yeah, but so like we just be interacting with this, the minotaurs. No, there was like a uh, like an urn, and like you know, there's been something inside of the thing that is holding the god currently that we've had to interact with in order to then get it to move to us. So if we don't touch anything inside the tomb. Then we're no gods are going to try to attack us. Ron, what color is the sarcophagus right now? Um, whatever color you want, to, you know. What here. did what did it say? Touch it when it's gold. Oh, no. David Dividhead with the greedy god in it would probably try to touch it. Well, oh, that's true. Um, you you can maybe yeah, I would say you could see him going towards it, but obviously you all can control him by just. Uh, you know, physically. I put my hand on it when it's gold and I say, Hear me now, this is Cornelius. Reveal uh -oh. yourself and your name, spirit. I'm I'm revealing these doors here just so if you want to open them or whatever, right? You see these <laughs> doors? So many. Corncobulus puts his hand on top of yours, Cornelius, and says, Nice. Yes. Listen to my brother. <laughs> yes, there's two of us now. You are doubly charged to reveal yourself, God. No, I'm sorry, I'm trying I'm to not fix fooling here. around. Uh, hold on! Don't open those doors yet. Let me. <laughs> let me. Uh, it, hold on a sec. Um, when Kabius looks up at you, Cornelius, and says, "You literally just told us that we could open the doors." I, I know, but let me role play when I, when so you open the door. I'm proud of you. I'm trying to get everything prepped here. Okay, so first, first Cornelius, you go and touch the 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 sarcophagus. I'm sorry. Yes. Color. No matter what happens, you'll always when it's be gold, my brother. Because I like gold, and I say. If the name Cornelius does not strike fear into you, perhaps the name Corncobulus does. Answer me, God. Hold on, I'm trying to read a section. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I'm, not, I'm just trying to rule. Hey. So, yeah, I know. The crystal, I know, sorry. The crystal sarcophagus changes every color every six seconds. Yes, I do. Blue, gold, gold, purple, green, red, black. Oh, wait, you're... If you're interacting with it, Runaira is out of there. Don't. She wants nothing. Where did to you do. go? I don't there's, see you on the map. Where did you go? There's a uh, there is a keyhole in the sarcophagus, a tiny keyhole. I cast wall of ice on the walls. <laughs> okay, sorry. So what do you do? Now that I read that, do I have anything that can go in that keyhole? Uh, your gun. <laughs> <laughs> what else do you have? Well, I don't care any keys, but I know the other, the other people do. <laughs> I cast Wall of Ice on the walls. All of the walls in front of the doors. Really? Yeah. Okay. So on, there's on, a wall that's of... Actually, that's actually a good idea. So against the maze? There's a, and... wall of, there's a wall of ice just like in front of the actual wall. Oh, yeah, of the whole the room? That's a good idea. Or, the whole room, yeah. So, so Renaira cannot go and open the door then, right? It's true. That's what you're saying. I cast it directly as as soon as Renaira. I I ready in action to cast Wall of Ice as soon as I see it sense danger coming through the door. Oh, okay. So you don't cast it yet, but you're ready. Yeah. Okay. That sounds fine. As soon as I, I'm just holding ready, I'm like, as soon as danger comes through those doors, Wall of Ice. I can't hold it. Okay, so 
Cornelius, you and David Divot are like touching the, the sarcophagus at different times yeah. of the colors. Well, yes. Whatever. Nothing happens. Um, compatriots, do we have a key of some sort we could put into this keyhole? No. Who's got all the keys? Renaira? The, these key. I don't think these are the keys for that. Mm. I've got three giant skulls. Oh, I need like a, I think I need like a crystal key. Yeah, the, these are just like the three giant skull key things. Would you like me to try to stick my chef's blade into one of the holes? I tried to like use David Divahead's fingers like a block page. Okay, sorry, I was not listening. I, I think I've got this room now. <laughs> Most what of do you guys chambers, do? So don't worry, you were yeah, listening. Sorry, I figured you guys. I'm hoping don't you were talking amongst home. yourselves. It was. What do you do now? Cook. Uh. Who does I what? I don't have that crystal key, so I don't know if there's much I can do. Renaira, you want to open that door now? Secret uh, door? Uh, sure. Okay, so you open it, and... Uh... Yeah, you see a room full of bones of minotaurs. Dead... Dead minotaurs. In that room. Okay. You can leave it open if you want. Whatever. Nope. <clears throat> yep, same thing over there. Hmm. When I read any crystal keys in there, not not that I've seen. Oh, hmm. this one's different. You see a corridor, of webs going into the damn back, and there's a light source coming from there. I, I may have found something. Yeah. Well, Scarlet's in the acid pit and it dies. <laughs> All right, so you go over there, and there's... Okay, let me I'm describe that room to you. Ira. What is this, my dear? I know, this place is crazy. Not not good crazy. Oh, okay. This room contains a wood cabinet with a numbered dial at its top, set with two ornate metal spokes. Beneath the dial, a pendulum swings inside an open compartment. An egg-shaped stone adorns the pendulum's tip. So, Grandfather Clark. Of some sort. What in the name of Edgar Allan Poe is this? <laughs> no. Uh, Stranger Things. <laughs> oh, yeah, Vecna. <laughs> the Vecna thing or whatever. The Vecna's curse or whatever, yeah. Who do you have? Um, I'm sorry, who's your... Are you Ejin? Oh. Huh? Ejin, right? Go touch it. Go stop it. Go, 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 go turn the things. Hmm. Uh, I'll poke my head in first and look around and see if there's any, uh, like traps or anything I can see. And there was nothing more. I'm oh, sorry. Say nothing it again. Oh, uh, that was an head kit. Ed Allan Poe. Oh. <laughs> oh. Nothing. Well, you nothing guys moved on. Sorry, Renara, what, what do you do? How that goes. Nevermore. Nevermore. What do you do, Renara? Uh, I'm checking for traps. Okay. Um, roll. Um, let's see here. There's definitely nothing more. I'm looking at the phone. Roll. Nevermore. The, the raven says nevermore, but nothing more is the quote in the phone that's used more frequently. At the end of everything, at the end of every stanza where the raven is there, he says nevermore. I've memorized that poem. Yeah, but on that midnight journey, perched and sat and nothing January. more. Like, if there's not a raven, and then it's nothing more. Yes. Oh, okay. Um, sorry, go ahead and roll for your check for traps. 24. Um, you feel okay. So you look and you see the the clock looks like it's sort of has a um a protective. Okay, here's how you notice it: the sound of the the devices and all feel muffled, like it's behind something, even though you see it quite clearly. That's the perception. It sounds like it's muffled, like in, like like it's contained. 
inside something as opposed to just hearing it. And it seems like it's a few minutes until it's a few minutes until it reaches say top of the hour on whatever turn it has. Hmm. Uh. But it's muffled like like further away than what you would think. Uh Mm. Uh, grandfather clocks have like um a key to get in there, right? Like a, to get into the where the, the pendulum is, it's got a door, and then there's a key for, uh, for grandfather clocks. Right, like, and you're kind of odd. Like it is, looks like it's not. There's no. It's almost looks like it's open to you, but yet it doesn't sound like it's open to you. Like there's no cover. It's clear. It's exposed. Invisible. Uh, I, I think we'll. I think we'll need a uh, scarf for this one if we're interested. Although honestly, I've never heard of anything good coming from clocks. Cornelius, do a uh, Arcana roll, Cornelius, or uh. Just roll. I just wanted the Owen Cornelius to roll. Looking at that clock. It's like two minutes oh, oh, till the top muted. of the hour. What do, you, what do you mean you roll? Perception? Yeah. Investigation? I would like something different, like insight or yeah, insight. I could do that. Uh, let's I want a spectacular roll. Otherwise, never mind. 18. Eh, it's not spectacular. Oh, my God. <laughs> you get a chill down your spine, Cornelius. I have a chill down my spine. <laughs> I thought uh, I might know what it is, but I don't. Uh, th that's what I feel every time I'm near you, or that corn fellow. I know, I have that effect on women. I'm goosebump instilling if you feel <laughs> running away down the corner. Away from yeah. You. Can I go? How do, what do we enter the room? Um, I don't know. All I keep thinking of is the pit and the pendulum, so. I step towards this thing. Renaira, you can run on walls. And you're letting the old Not if man it saws go my ahead. legs off. Not if it saws my legs off. Nope, okay, I'm out. Do it, do it. Ron's face. Do it, do it. Yes. She takes off. Cornelius, what do you do? Is about to hit. It's about to go, you know. Ding. I'm not going to leave him. I'll just stay back here. <laughs> okay. okay. I'm, getting, I'm getting ready to dodge. I'm, I'm Take the dodge action. Okay. You stare at it and, you know, there's like a glass reflective thing there or whatever. As you're oh, looking, yes. you kind of see your face and you can see it's about the, 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 the thing inside. It's about to go to, you know, whatever, two o'clock, three, whatever, top mm -hmm. of the hour. Yes. And well, Godless leans over your shoulder and says, mm, What is that, Cornelius? <laughs> and you hear Dong Dong And Cornelius, you're looking at it, and yes. Renaira, you're back there, and Cornelius, you're looking at it, and of course you, yes. this is perfect. Cornic cornucopia or corner cornucopolis. Cornucopolis is next to you. And yes. you both are twins looking into that glass thing or whatever. Yes. And this is a perfect moment where you're looking and you see you wrinkle, but Cornucopius is says the same. Dun! Oh, no. What is happening to you, Cornelius? All right, you've aged. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> you're already old. <laughs> you now have a bad back. <laughs> so let yeah. What, what what do you what happens when you get older? Like uh, anyone have any clue on this for D and D? Oh, what do you? Yeah. Wait, 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 how many? How ten many years. Ten years. How many years. But but he's already old. We already know he's old, so he's old. Wrong. Now. I'm actually only thirty five. <laughs> just look this. You can't raise your arm above your shoulder. That you have, you have arthritis. He's, got, he's like, got a scar on his pinky. Well, bad knees. From his every, time, every time I use the jump action, I, I incur one damage to knees. 
<laughs> one damage. My knee durability drops. How about D- every time you do it, you get a D6 damage. <laughs> that's fair. That's My fair. knees! <laughs> All right, that's, that God. sounds fun. So Gobius looks at you and says, Oh, you're fine, boy. You, have, <laughs> you turn around. No, but because of Corner Coffee, Corner whatever is there, you can Corn see the Coffee difference, is. you know? like, And he's still Corn 10 Coffee years is. younger. He's Corn still a for Sprite 60. Corn yeah. Coffee look beautiful. Yeah, so do, so do you, brother. I, I turn around to Renaira and I say, Renaira, nothing happened. And there's all these wrinkles across my face. <laughs> He's like I, 70 I told you, now. You really got, you've really got to quit smoking. It's aging you horribly. <laughs> this may be his last adventure, literally. Yeah. I, the... <laughs> I believe I'm on borrowed time, Renaira. <laughs> I can't all pick right. up. You look worse here. than my clothing right now. And that, and that yeah. truly is saying something. Scar, uh, you. you you're, Steven, Scar, you guys see Scar, me I want you to roll a sanity roll. Oh my god, what? <laughs> no, 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 no. Cornelius! Uh, Scar, you gotta Steven, roll a sanity roll hurt. because your creation doesn't look like what you... Your, yeah, the yeah. illusion. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh, I'm just kidding. Wait, how, how old is Cornelius now? Come on. I mean, you know, he said he was already old, so I'll, let's say... What are you, 50? Let's say 59, now you're 69? Yeah, whoa. Let's just make nice. him the even 70. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Dude, that's old, bro. That is old. Well, I finally got one of you. I finally did something to one of you hey. this, in this tomb. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I, I'm, I'm very satisfied with the results of this. <laughs> I'm very you, satisfied. And uh, no one get near that clock. <laughs> You just sign here really quick. This is a, a will I wrote up for you. <laughs> I need my spectacles. Suddenly. I think updated. No, everything's up. <laughs> you wrote this. If you just don't remember yes, it. Yes, he needs a new... Uh, new uh... Rune Ira uh, jerks it out of Steven's hands and stuffs it in his pocket. Later, <laughs> Steven. We'll uh, wait for him to be By the way, rich. Scar, yours... Are I'm writing you out of his Scar. will. Scarlet is dead. It's in the uh, pit of acid right there. I know. I put it in there by, <laughs> on purpose just to see if you would notice. Um, this is like in my Rhine campaign last week. Uh, uh, they were doing the seance and uh, the the ghost appeared. And so they had to roll to not be afraid. And one of them rolled a nat one. So he rolled a 2d4 for his age. And he aged 70 years. And he's an orc. And their lifespan <laughs> is 70. So he's like, he's 14 years past. It's maximum age, so he's in a wheelchair now in the campaign. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> uh, Scarlet, you see, Scarlet is um, whatever you uh, you told it to hover around the acid pit, and it I... seems to be like <laughs> and pointing down into the acid pit. Oh, I say, cool, <laughs> what's down there? I will uh... <laughs> like kind of desperately. Oh, I will look into the acid and see what's in there. All right, roll your perception. What if I say, okay, I will. I rolled a, I rolled a 13. I said, <laughs> what is it, Cool, Scarlet? I don't see anything. Yeah, exactly. You're like, wow, it looks like a bunch of acid down there. And, oh, of course, there's a big stone sitting in it. And then the, the dissolving of the chest pieces. But it's like pointing. <laughs> Doing something weird, this you know that little high-pitched uh, monkey screech. What is it? Oh, can it talk to you? Uh, yeah, it can talk to you, right? Well, I can, I can like. It's not just a yeah, monkey; it's a familiar. It's a familiar. I will put my familiar, fine familiar spell into the. Yeah, you can telepathically communicate with it. Yes, I can. Okay, so I I'm not going to read all that. Started? My goodness, <laughs> I'm reading all. That. Uh, it says there's something in there that it senses is magical or unique or or, or invisible. It can't, it can't talk to me. I can just close my eyes and look through its senses. Well, whatever. I just did it. So yeah. Um, <clears throat> I say there's something. Uh, I can see something. He sees it. Uh, He's pointing at it and he sees it, but you just don't see it. So right. So I can see through its eyes, and I say, "Ooh, look at that." Well, you're still using your perception of seeing through its eyes. <laughs> so. Right, but well, I'm just saying if it sees it and I'm looking through its eyes, it's it has its own mind, right? Yeah. 
So okay. If you're, if you're sure. Me, it's Fine. I'm looking at guys, I'm looking um, it's like, pointing okay. at a little indentation in this acid. That's like an indentation. It looks like a key. Wow. I say. Hmm. <laughs> Go get that key, Scarlet. Oh no. Wait. <laughs> uh. uh Actually, why don't I? Uh, ooh, uh, yeah, I'll tie it to a rope and I'll swing it down there so it won't fall in the acid. Okay. Yeah. Right. I go it just burns off its little fingers when it grabs it. Justin Steven, Scarlet, he's the key. Good. The key is in the acid. acid. Yep. Just floating there. It's a small little. Yep. Okay. Trust how, in- how deep is the pit? I don't know. Oh, based on the sphere? Yeah, based on the stone, uh, I think it's like five feet. I don't know. I'm guessing five feet. Okay, well, I'm going to jump down onto the Ten, stone oh. using oh, my oh. ring of jumping. Oh, onto the stone? Right, like... I'm okay, it's only five feet. Deep... Yeah. It's only five feet. So the stone is sort of barely sticking out of it. The acid. The acid, No, sorry. but, like, not... How deep is it from the top of the acid Ten to feet. the... Total. Okay. So, so, yeah, so it's that's... only five feet down. So it's not that yeah. far. You, it's not a big deal. You guys can get it. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. You guys get the key. You're 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 high enough level. Yeah. You can you can get a little key floating there, five feet from you. <laughs> the acid. Yeah. Not a problem. Why do you these hands. You craft a hand. And so you as to... you kind of no, rub I... off the acid or whatever, yeah. uh, you you realize you have an invisible key. Oh, this probably just goes to the tomb, and we're not trying to get into the tomb. I'm gonna go use it on the tomb. Use the we... key, Stephen. Use the key. Yeah, let's use the key on the tomb. Um, it feels like the key is too big for that. Like you, it I won't fit. Large reduce on it. It's invisible, the key, so you can't tell exactly. But you can tell when you try to do it; it just won't go in. You know. Are there like three keyholes? Uh, no. One. I thought somebody said there were three keyholes on the chest. Uh, okay, on never the mind. chest? Uh, no, we have three on the big tomb. keys. We have three keys? We have three big keys, the, the skull keys. Oh. Yeah, you have the big three. Yeah. This is not one of those. Who's rolling and why? I don't know. I'm just fooling around with my magic items. Okay. So the invisible invisible key does not work on the tomb. No. Okay. So let's go then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's four of you. There's only one of me. You guys gotta figure out what you're gonna do. I can tell you. What if we open all the other doors? Runata was the we... one that wanted to open all the doors, and then Cornelius looks like he's about ready to drop dead. Yeah, Cornelius <laughs> looks like a reason. I say we stop opening doors. Well, <laughs> come on, Concabius. Perhaps the next door will make me younger. Concabius, I say, Concabius, so, you look a little dirty. You, you need you need more than a miracle for that, Cornelius. <laughs> did you guys get the key from down there? Yeah, we did. Is it the, Con- is it the crystal key for the sarcophagus? It didn't fit. No, it's an invisible key. Although, does it work on the... I guess Steven will go check if it works on the maze thing. Well, there's no key there, but... Yeah, but it'll just kind of like wave it around. Wave it around? No, no. Jab it. Touch it. Do it. Jab it. Do it. Hey, my god is telling me to, like, jab the key into this maze thing. It seems like a bad idea. What do you guys think? Do it. Got, I don't know. Goobs on. Goobs on. Calm down. Brave. Courage. I'm also very intelligent. So strong. Okay? I am brave and strong and intelligent. Okay. I'm going to ask my son. friends what they think. I have dementia right now, so I'm just yelling right <laughs> <like that. laughs> <laughs> Um, that's that's as one much as yes. I appreci- as much as I appreciate your turn to religion, unless you're really wanting to fight the Minotaurs, I, I say no. But I- I- if you want to fight the Minotaurs, I'm with you. All right, Scar. Yes. <laughs> yes. What? What? Let's go. 
All right. <laughs> I don't even know what that Let's means. go. What does that mean? Go. What do you mean? Let's go. Let's go. We're leaving. Yeah. Okay. Concabulus is taking a bath in the acid. <laughs> Maybe don't do that. Well, he doesn't age, unlike someone else. <laughs> He's just an illusion. Of when Cornelius was younger. Yeah. <laughs> Two I minutes remember. ago. I remember the good old days. <laughs> Come on, Cone Cobulus, let's go. Oh, let's oh, really quick, out. while we're here, who does not have inspiration currently? Uh, I don't. Okay. Does anybody else not what? have inspiration? Where do you Okay, I'm going to use two of my Chewingit charms. It grants plus one inspiration to anyone. And I'm going to use one on myself and on Cornelius. Okay. Where do you see where you have inspiration? Chewing a charm. Oh, I see. I don't have inspiration either. Okay. Do you want an inspiration? No. You sure? <laughs> I mean, I'll take it. Me He's one. so awesome. He doesn't. You gave me. You gave me one. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Because Rob's What's... been real stingy lately. <laughs> I sort of down... forgotten about it, and I'm just What's uninspired. Down here, so. I see like a bunch of. Uh... <laughs> Oh, we already did this? All right, Scar has uh, one, too. No. But oh, you, th that's... This guy fell from oh. the, up above. You guys knocked I Scar, remember him. Sam, you These have statues. Don't forget about it. Okay. And there's that sort of uh, watery, misty sensation coming from this Oh, that's hole. above us, though, right? Below you. I'm... Below, below. Oh. But there's a water coming up. Not water, but, you know, the, the sense of a um, humid or cold, wet below. And these are four statues. Oh, I should describe this room for you. Yeah, those are clearly bad guys, right? <clears throat> Let me describe what you see. This is... They have the red ring around them. At the bottom of the grand staircase, a resonant mechanical rumbling emanates from a dark shaft opening up in the middle of this chamber's floor. Four cylindrical stone pedestals surround the shaft, each 10 feet tall, 5 feet wide, and featuring a tiny slot in its side. Squatting atop each pedestal is a large four-armed gargoyle. Uh, let me read. Each gargoyle is contained uh, within, within a square made of metallic tiles embedded on top of its pedestal. Starting with the northernmost pedestal and going clockwise, the tiles are copper, silver, gold, and platinum. Aww. So, they're standing on these these very t high uh, blocks, and each has slots in them, tiny slots on the uh, let's say the outsides of them. And each cargo is standing on top of uh, tiles: copper, silver, gold, and platinum. How come I can't write anything on the map? Um, you can. You should be able to. Do we have a copper piece, a silver piece, a gold piece, and a platinum piece? Oh, I can. Um, yeah, you guys do. Just let's just say you do. Although, Where's the plaque? Where you, I'm gonna. I, Stephen looks oh, for the plaque. the plaque. Whoops. Is there a plaque? Mm. Yes. Is this the way? This is the way up, right? Because it's got the broken staircase. Yeah, it goes up from here. It doesn't go down. <clears throat> okay, here's the plaque. You see the plaque right next to the wall by you as you come out. It's right here. Oh. That's weird. Uh, okay. Death. Death to fire. Dine or drown precious air and falling sand the army oh. sleeps in silence the mirror holds 12 find the iron scepter's twin the maze holds the key uh, i'll say it again are you want me to copy paste or you got it the uh, what was that what was it the very end yeah, i'll start again i'll say it again yeah just copy, copy paste, paste. My hands are Easier. full. I missed, I missed a lot of it. Okay, that's fine. But I got some of it. Well, we know Death the... to Fire. Death to Fire really stood out to me for some reason. I don't know uh... why, but Death to Fire really like felt like it was targeted. 
Where? Well, and also the key holds the maze, so we know what that's from. Which? Oh, Pyrus, um, yeah. and wasn't there an iron scepter on that throne or something? Bronze. Well, I wonder black. if you like look through the key, you can the maze like clears up or something. That's okay. Here, I'll show you this in just a sec. Uh, level four. <laughs> Save. Uh, show players. Okay. So go to the bronze plaques. Mm-hmm. Nice. Death to fire, dying or drown, precious air and falling sand. Oh, those are all one line. Yeah, that that's not meant to be bigger either. It's just a, they're all the same. Uh, the army sleeps in silence. The mirror holds 12. Find the iron scepter's twin. The maze holds the key. Oh, the maze holds the key, everybody. <laughs> Guys, the maze holds the key. Um, you, I'm, you may have forgotten this, but on the throne was a scepter. Yeah. You didn't, you know, I, I do want to remind you just in case that oh, you, that you glossed that. over that. Yeah, I don't remember that at all. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, and what did what did Runaira find in that small room? A uh, clock. A clock. No, no, the other room, the, the sarcophagus. Oh yeah, there was a sarcophagus with like a smiling sun above it. Yep. You think that's another god? No, I I don't think so. The tomb was way too small, and it was just a. And that was what four four squares. Or something. It did oh. not seem at all similar to the other tombs. It just had a sarcophagus. Yeah, there. and a sun thing hanging over it. Yeah, and it was very nicely done. The, the sarcophagus. You did remove the lead around it, but you never got it to, to take it. Off. Maybe it was like um, uh, the consort or something of. of Wait, you removed uh, the lead from the area, but you didn't. The sealant. Else? Yeah, no, no, everyone else left, so I I figured no one was interested, so I I left too. Oh, I thought you. Yeah. I didn't want to open. That's probably where the Iron alone. Scepter's twin is, unless it's in the T Rex corpse. That would be pretty cool. That would be cool. Um, let's go get it. I'm gonna go search the T Rex corpse. I think yeah, that's. I want to go get grab that scepter, so I'll go with you. Yeah, I'll come with you. I want. Yeah, grab yeah. that scepter. Go and eat, go and copy this. Stay here and guard these statues. <laughs> He's like taking. A <clears throat> okay, so you see the iron scepter on the the throne, but there's not. You search amongst the dead bones, and there's nothing there. Uh, I grab the scepter. Okay. And then bring it back. Grab this. If up. another T Rex comes out, I get to kill it this time. Okay. <laughs> Roll better on initiative. <laughs> That's fair. Is that a cat, Abigail? It's a cute cat. <laughs> That's a pupper. Um. So we're gonna put the scepter into the map, the maze. I mean. Hold on a sec. Sorry. Uh, you go to okay. grab the scepter. Yes. Hey, you want to see a puppy? Yep. Yeah. Always. Okay, it's No, I was It has no, a it's was asking. solid iron and has an adamantine head. Ooh. Twelve pounds, wielded as a mace. Um yeah. That's actually pretty cool. Do you sit in the throne? Okay. Um, the real cor corn cor Cornelius. <laughs> Do you sit in the throne or touch the skull in any way? You stand there and grab the scepter. Uh, I grab the scepter, <laughs> and then I sit down in the throne and I say, "Cornelius, King Cornelius reigns for eternity." All oh right. my gosh! Don't why no. DC sixteen charisma safe. Okay. <laughs> I knew it was a bad <sighs> idea, but I wanted. I hope to, you get possessed. I by wanted the worst to guy. do it. <laughs> why did you do this? You age 27 years. Nat 20! Nat 20? Oh. I'm invincible! Uh, all right, all right. A, cr a crown materializes can, on okay. its head, right? 
Can I? Since I got oh, but a you have to roll 20, with disadvantage, obviously. Can the, can the magic of the throne de-age me? No. No. Damn. No. No. Come hold on. on. Hold on. Hold on. I will, but because of that, I am going to give you something. Okay. I just picture it's, like at the end of Lord of the Rings when like Bilbo is finishing his book. <laughs> And he's yes. like really old. Yeah, that's me. You get that thing, you. When, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was gonna say Cornelius looks like you know. Remember when uh, Bilbo tried to take the ring from Frodo, <laughs> and he goes, ah! "That's how I look like just normally." <laughs> you, the rage of Karagos, tries to take you over mm -hmm. so that you become ah. m stronger and want to kill everyone around you. Oh my. Yeah. And you start, ah, I, you and you almost like feel like you're younger or something, but you're not younger. Oh. Uh, you just, oh. you're just more like suicidal, but you resist it, right? You, you, Nat 20, you feel like uh, you let the rage go through you, but yes. you keep the 50 temporary hit points. Oh, keep those. So I shall not be bowed by you, but you feel still the, the inner, the, the, the uh, energy drink of it, you know, you feel that. <laughs> that part Don't of it. ever long rest it's like again. Like a biogra. <laughs> yes. I feel young and yeah, invigorous. Fifty temporary hit points. I feel my wrinkles. Ah, yeah. you look like only. garbage. You could seems though. Be on the inside. Feel like you want to kill everyone, but you deny it. He always feels like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's end it here. Wait, where? Oh. That's what Cornelius says. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> But I want. Where do you guys think you're gonna go? Just so I can, you know, figure out. I mean, oh, I want to keep searching for a skull key guy. We yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. On the collection. fourth level. Yeah. Okay. That's you gotta do that. Yeah. Okay. I what mean, you've done the seventh level spell. Huh? Oh, he wants me. I want to use right. my seventh level spell somewhere. Let me see. You. Wow. His XP is. Um... I don't want to give you all this XP. So. Gonna not give I mean, yeah, we just all give just us a level up, instead. So. Yeah, just give us a level instead. <laughs> uh, I mean, that T Rex kill was awesome. That I was definitely a part of. <laughs> <laughs> Divided by four. Well, there's technically Here. ten of you now because of everyone else. Pu puppy, co puppy consolation prize. The only other one that should get experience is David Dividend because <laughs> he actively helps Cornelius, but nobody else helps ever. Two thousand six hundred and twenty-five. Let's do let's do two thousand eight hundred because of the you guys did some two thousand eight hundred because you guys. So you all are pretty um, even as far as XP, right? Twenty eight thousand. Twenty eight hundred. Are you sure you didn't mean twenty eight thousand? You all are pretty <laughs> relative. You all are pretty <laughs> equal, right? Or in the same range. Yeah, you, you yeah, made us I all equal because we... there was some confusion. That yeah. totally wasn't my fault. Uh, what? No, no, no. It's 100% your fault. <laughs> I have no clue what you're talking about. I am guilt free. I have puppy. Oh. Puppy makes me guilt free. Yeah, as you, you can see, if you, if you zoom out, you can see that you have basically okay. another section to do this area. So. But no, oh, you're, yeah, the, you're in, the, hey, you got two to two and a half, three rooms here checked out, so that's pretty good. You said two thousand eight hundred. <laughs> this is like cool. yeah, two thousand eight hundred. Yeah, we'll probably finish level four, and Deep. then oh. <laughs> I think we. I still Let's think just we skip the spiral Let's staircase go. down to level right. five Let's instead of jumping what's down. What's the last level? Oh. <laughs> What's left is level level twenty seven. Okay, oh level my god, we're getting there. Oh, he won't live that long. <laughs> Just like five more I years. Five yeah. We left. won't live that long. <laughs> I have five days left. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Every yeah. long rest you take is robbing me of my life. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you can't ever long rest again if in. in until that 50 HP is gone, Robbie, because when you long rest, you lose temp HP. <laughs> That's not true. Uh-huh. That's not. Yeah. Absolutely. No. Every time you get new temp HP, yeah, your old you, temp HP is gone. Yeah, too. but when you long rest, you also lose temp HP. Never yeah. seen yeah. that. It resets. Oh, yeah, for I've never sure. Seen that. Oh, it resets. No. Yeah, it resets. 
Absolutely. He's all upset. Yeah, I'm not giving up my tambourine points. I'm not giving him up. I'm not giving him up. I don't care what you all say. Sleep did become very. I'm gonna stay uh, awake. Become accustomed to sleep deprivation, Cornelius. You already got the bags under your eyes. You might as well yeah, get right? of them. You're exhausted, but you're like, I have my 10 temp HP. 50. I'm exhausted, but I feel great. I think it's worth just, sleep deprivation so to keep that 50 loopy, temp you know? hit points. To keep Thanks. it forever. Hi. <laughs> Hi. All right. Good night, everybody. Night. Tomb of night, Annihilation, guys. level four. A tomb. Thanks, Ron. Bye. You're welcome. Thanks, Ron. You're welcome.